you know, what's crazy is, is that I didn't even know you were 40. You know, if I was, uh-huh. you know, if you was just someone that was just seeing it like at a Walmart or somewhere, right. I would have thought you were like my age. Yeah. Well, thank you. Makes Must me feel good. Yeah. Just drinking a water, <laughs> eating cantaloupe, watermelons. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she eating nothing but fruit all day. Over there. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Definitely. I had pork chops for dinner. Remember when I told you I was breaking bread with oh, my well, kids? Well, you're just from Louisiana. Yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's correct, though. I would have never put 40. Yeah. 38, like me. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I just put it right back. <laughs> put it right at your age, right? Yeah. Oh, can you do one more bro? Yeah. Can you get that bottle of uh, Ciroc? Uh, and yeah, that yeah, lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's correct, though. I would have never put 40. Yeah. 38, like me. Appreciate it. I just put it right back. Put it right at your age, right? Oh, I hear myself. You don't hear yourself? Yeah, I do. I hear myself. Cause you got the, the oh. sound was on. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I was like, what? It's, now oh, it's catching. Okay. It's doing the. It's yeah. catching up now. Okay. 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 Summer citrus. That should look good. Yeah. It. It. It is. I mean, is it smooth though? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not. I mean, you get yeah. Some it's not gonna be like. I mean, it's I ain't not gonna. Trying to, you, no. It's it not gonna put you in your. Yeah. It's not gonna put you in your. It's, no. It's cool. And put lemonade in it. Mm-hmm. You should be good. Oh, or you got the lemonade. Or just drink it straight. It's lemonade over there too. But I think I'm gonna drink it straight from now on though. Where the cups at? Oh, it's back in that area. Oh, we on air now. Oh, nice. Let's go ahead and get this thing uh oh, I'm gonna hook everything up. Oh, you got me sweat. I don't like that shit. And look, it's like forty seconds behind anyway. Yeah, I know. I know. I got you. Oh no, it, it it's, it's eight se- no, no, no. Uh-uh. Oh, it's good. It's gonna catch up though. It's, yeah, it's like that. You can't do it. See, you're going you to mess yourself up. Watch okay, what in? Okay, fix me. Yeah, you're going to mess yourself because you okay. can be like, <laughs> it's going to be so late. Okay. You know. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. yeah. Let's start the show. <laughs> Hello, everybody, podcast slam. Your host, Super Elvin. Welcome back to the MID podcast show. Yes. I'm in the building as always. Like that Man, that thing always be playing low. <laughs> Sounds like that new MID. That's good. That's good right it's there. It's the MID podcast show. Okay. Again, we here at the Sharp Line Barbershop out here in Hope Mills, 641 Camden Road. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, <laughs> but if you ever in Hope Mills, Come out here and get you a fresh cut, man. Yeah. Matt, Shar, Kev, uh, TJ in the corner over there. You know what I'm saying? Come out here and get a fresh cut, man. You're in Hope Mills, North Carolina. Um, and I got a, I got a couple of special guests tonight. I got one. He in the bag. He lost. <laughs> nah, good dude, man. He good dude. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, everybody in podcast line, I got a couple of special guests tonight. Um... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to you last, all right? Because <laughs> okay. you she she thinking about being a regular, so we're gonna we're gonna you know just we're gonna wait last on her because she thinking about being a regular. Yes. But um yes. to my right, I got a good friend of mine, man. Go ahead and tell everybody uh, what you go by, where you from. Um, I'm Mike from Pinehurst, North Carolina. That's different. North Carolina. That's different. You know, hold on, man. hold on. Man. Hold on man. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Bro, we in this bitch. No, I want you to say that more gangster, like Pinehurst, you know, Pinehurst. You know what I'm saying, nigga? We Pinehurst, dropping bombs. North Carolina. You know what I'm saying, son? Pinehurst. No, I don't tell <laughs> It's some couple people from Pinehurst over there. Like, they probably like, woo, they like rooting in the living room and shit. No. How you doing today, man? Good, man. I'm good. How you you? you feeling nervous? Because I'm nervous for some odd reason. I'm not nervous. But I'll be all right, though. I, I do this. <laughs> and over to my left, we I, have uh, Miss Jennifer. Yes, I'm Jennifer. And I am originally from Houma, Louisiana. Never heard of it. We but we're going to do the same thing. What is that? Um, where, where is it? So you try to explain to me where is that, but how, how, do you, how do you say it again? 
Homa. 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 H O U M A. H O U M A. Yes, there is a home. I think a Homer. Louisiana, okay, I, but it's not that. It's I, okay. not even close. <laughs> okay, that's probably on the opposite side of. Yeah, I think it's more up north. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, but we're like maybe an hour, hour fifteen minutes south okay. of okay. New Orleans. So you know, yeah, we're mm-hmm. like round about you. Okay, what brings you to to Fayetteville from Homa, Louisiana? Um, well, I haven't lived back home for like twenty plus years. Okay. okay. Um, first was the military, then after the military was marriage, and then after mm-hmm. marriage it was a good friend that brought me out here. So yeah. So now I'm out in Eastover. She was like, Yeah, this came from Eastover. I said, God damn, do you know how far that is from here? From well, Hope Mill, but I guess if you hop on a highway. Yeah, you can definitely hop on a highway. You can, you can go pretty quick. Yeah, it, it didn't take long to get here. So I think Eastover is far from everything. Like, mm-hmm. I have to drive. So I drive mm-hmm. to, like, you got to drive to Skybo to get somewhere, Ramsey Street. So like, everything I, is like 20, 20 I never, so I just ride past Eastover on 95. Like, I don't, don't really, do I never really. Don't, don't do that. What? Is it because it's all old money? Yeah, I don't. I I just look like damn. One day I'm gonna stop in Eastover, <laughs> but I gotta make it a rally. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's just how I do it. Like I see it, but I'm not stopping nowhere in there. I, I don't. I don't really see a house. Yeah, there's nothing. It's just to, a sign. Yeah, there's nothing to stop for. I don't think. Well, we have a new gas station. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? We do have Dairy Queen now. That girl, she got yeah. hype on Dairy <laughs> Queen. Oh, do this, we gonna do this, man. Oh, DQ, man. <laughs> Go in there and get your blizzards. Get your blizzards on. Yeah. Oh, I bet y'all be wildin' when they turn the cup upside down. You know, oh, the shit didn't even fall out. That's ah. Cool. Ah. Ah. She's crazy. Yo, the other day we went and she didn't turn my cup upside down. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I, I would have like, slid it back to her. Yeah, like, yeah make sure you just turn this upside down one time. Yeah, yeah man. Sure yeah, you, you, I know they taught you better than that. <laughs> you know, what's up, Aaron, man, in the building? Okay. Look, he tried to he tried to vouch. I I know where Huma is. Right, I got Pete. No, you don't. Yeah, Aaron, yeah, stop. I don't even know where it's at. He trying to vouch. I don't even know where it's at. I never heard. Nah, but um, you said he was in the military. Yes, but, I was mm-hmm. for a minute, like not long. Was it like army or was it? It was army. I was in for like seven years, so I did oh, a you're... little bit. Of... I'm thinking she got kicked out in AIT <laughs> or something. It. Like quit. Yeah, yeah. like no, first did, first enlistment. I did quit. Like, you, I gave up. You just say, I'm out of here? I was I was in Germany, tired, just had a newborn, and uh-huh. they was talking about deployment. Yo, I wasn't mentally ready, I don't think, for a deployment, not after I had, like, a six-month-old at home with my mom. Okay. Right. So, I just remember going to take, like, my PT test, and mm-hmm. it was this um, starting for his class. I think his name was Pressfield or something like that. Man, that's an ugly ass. Name. <laughs> ugly ass. He sounded like he mean <laughs> just because his name's Pressfield. And, and he had like this nervous tick where he would blow all the time, yeah. like blow his finger. And he was like, "You're no good to me." Like he was like, "You're dead to me." God. And then after that, You're it trash. was yeah. He mm. was like, "If you don't finish," I was like, "Dude, I'm tired. I'm not about to run this two miles. Like yeah. I'm gonna walk it, and whatever I get, I get." Mm. And then next thing I know, like, they gave me, like, 10 days and was like, you're out. But the whole thing was, two of those days I was sick. I was mm-hmm. at the house sick. So I literally had eight days to clear Germany and get out. Damn. Damn. What was your uh, MOS? What was your job? E5. Supply. Supply. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bullets don't fly without <laughs> supply. <laughs> well, you're a Yankee or an Alpha? Is I was it definitely a Yankee. Even, yeah, all no damn unit supplies. Yeah. Y'all red flags. <laughs> but yeah, Complete I, was, red flags. I was just getting in so much trouble. Like, I literally, yeah. like, I was tired. But you did a strong seven, though. Yeah, so, you oh, know. Yeah. Now I'm disabled and all that. So That's I'm at 100%. Cool. So I appreciate them for those years. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. I don't have to work, so I appreciate you. I do. I got you. I got you. <laughs> so we're we going to get into a couple of topics. <laughs> okay. All right. The more you come on, the more we get deeper right. into uh, Miss Jennifer over here. But you know, let's, let's go through these topics. Let's, okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now, last week we try to we try to talk about this topic, but mm-hmm. well, you got too many niggas in the room. It's, it's just it's just. <laughs> it's just yeah. I just I just put the phone down. I say ain't no need for topics. <laughs> niggas just talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we still had had our fun though. Shout out to uh, Steve, man, Honey Grand Barbershop. Um, so what we the one of the topics that I brought up is like it's so crazy how 
how something can happen in the in the world in the media right now and then like in a couple of months it just be gone like did y'all for yeah i forgot ukraine and russia was at war yeah, kind of I completely forgot. I completely yeah. forgot. Well, like, church I didn't even know that was a thing. Sunday, yeah. they was making it. They was taking an offering for them on Sunday, a special offering. But it's, it's like, come on. It was yeah. on my it was on my feed, yeah. my timeline. Like it I couldn't even open Snapchat, right. like, yeah. it, like it was just everywhere. Right. And then yeah. Chris Rock gets slapped, and then all of a sudden, yeah. oh, 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 I don't never seen. I, I have never seen a, a missile, <laughs> well, yeah. a right. soldier. Like I ain't everything seen none of them. Like exactly. everything has changed. Yeah. It so it, it's kind of like um. It's kind of like with COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, that was a big thing. Yeah. That was a big thing. Uh, mm -hmm. COVID was, uh, you know, they, they you would have thought it was an apocalypse. But, right. You know, it was like a couple though. of fucking months after that, uh -huh. you know, then something new co pops up and it's. COVID it's had a good run, though. A yeah, it did. It had a it good did. run. A it very long yeah, run. Yeah, depress some niggas in the streets. <laughs> um, you know, it, 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 it's going to last. We're going to look back 10 years like, man, do you know we was in a pandemic? Right. <laughs> trying to sell that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to sell that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They shut down the world. And we witnessed that. Yes. They literally yeah. shut down the world. We, we weren't even going to work. The, the military wasn't even going to work. They tried. Yeah. But yeah. it was like, oh, come on, man. Like, this, everybody else home while we can't be home. Um, but it's just now, it's like when I see somebody with a mask, I'm like, what the fuck do I got a mask on for? And it just dawned on me, like, damn, we just went through a like, damn near two year pandemic. Yeah. But just so, as soon as Chris Rock gets slapped by Will Smith, everything, uh, it's, everything just changes. But it's just so crazy. Like, like that Ukraine and Russia war, like, we had soldiers like crying, like, yeah, we going to war. Right, right, right. Like, damn, y'all really forgot y'all was in the army. Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, know what y'all do, right? But think about it. You're about to prepare like a 17 to 19 year old for war. We uh, don't think about that when you sign up. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I need you to get your weapon, yeah. suit up. And now you're about to go kill a couple people, but, maybe. But what do like, they think the army? I don't know. Yeah. I came I in there and I reckon. I didn't think that. So, so my thing so is. So you just like, like, I'm cool? I'm cool. Like, like you know, yeah. I'm not going to nobody world. That wasn't what I said. How you going to join the yeah. army yeah. and say, I, I ain't going to nobody world? Nobody, what yeah. you in here for? Nah, nah. Now, I'm not saying no, that we join to fight. I'm right. saying that it got to be in the right. back and of your that mind. Was like, never in right. the back like of you're going to fight. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I thought I was going to be in the supply room the whole time. I wasn't thinking about, like, I'm about to go over to Iraq and be in this. And desert. be in the supply room in Iraq. Right. Yeah. I wasn't thinking like that. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't think I was prepared for that. Like nobody even prepared me for the what's the room that you're going with all the smoke and stuff. The oh, gas oh, gas yeah, nobody prepared mm -hmm. me for that. Like. You know what, man? I just fucking full send it, man. Was like, like, what's that smell? <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> Why are they crying? Why are they crying? I don't know. I just think uh, just being from the small town I was and mm. you know down south, like when I went into the military, I literally thought every Hispanic person was Mexican. Oh my God! You know what I mean? Hold on, oh, <laughs> hold on! I thought it was the only one. Look, I would tell you exactly. I would tell you what Zach. I almost got stabbed by a Puerto Rican AI. Right. It is it's my. It's, it's it's one of my homeboys. But I. <laughs> this gonna sound so bad. Mm. So what happened was I, I get the AIT because where I'm from in Brunswick, it's nothing but Mexicans, and they got a whole side of the town, okay. and there's forty of them in one house, <laughs> two bedroom house. I don't know how they do this shit. Smart. But yeah. Exactly. And it wasn't front of a little dirty. You know what I mean? So when I came in the uh with the basic, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh did I get the AIT? I saw this like this Mexican. I'm like, but this <laughs> this nigga fresh. He got his hair done up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Eyebrows <laughs> out arched. You know what I'm saying? I said, This right. this Mexican is <laughs> hey, I'm like, what's up, bro? He was like, yo, what's up, bro? Boom, right. boom. I was like, damn man, you a clean ass Mexican, man. Like, oh, okay. What the fuck you call me, yo? Right. And of course he was from like a New York right. Puerto Rican. Right. I was just like, yo, nigga trying to stab right. me in the right. in the bear. I said, I had never seen a Puerto Rican. Exactly. I don't recall me ever seeing a Puerto Rican until I came right. into the army. Like you right. I thought all of them was Mexican. It sounds so bad right now. Right. But when I was in basic, it was a white dude. I never seen black people in person. He was like from like North Dakota or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. So well, did he have red hair? Oh, that was I don't crazy. remember that. He was a geek though. Yeah, he had them big ass glasses. army glasses. <laughs> Bird Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that because I was wearing those too. Okay, I'm like, perfect. I'm just gonna keep. But you're not wearing them now though. No, definitely not. De 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 definitely, definitely not. <laughs> but the crazy part is, why do y'all think it's like that? It's I don't know. It's just so weird to me how we can just get past something like so fast, something, something so bad. I don't know. 
I just think we kind of like have a one track mind, right? Yeah. yeah. Because right. the human brain actually isn't to multitask. Mm -hmm. We're just we just do it, but we're not. It's not built for that. Yeah, we're not. Our bodies are our brains not built for that. Right. So I think like once something is over and it isn't broadcast now since we have our cell phones and the TV and everything we didn't right. have that before mm -hmm. and once it moved on it just moves on yeah. you know what right. I mean? so we move on too you know mm -hmm. unless uh -huh. the people that drill and stuff you know and cry mm -hmm. and, you know yeah or you get those daily reminders in church that says hey we need to take up a ball for it yeah. you're like for what what's going uh, on with you over can't there they not over they not done fighting yet <laughs> <laughs> like, like, damn for right. me. I forgot they were fighting exactly. that, that I literally forgot they were, I'm in the army I forgot they were fighting yeah mm -hmm. I was we had to track it for a while yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying we ain't had to track it no more exactly. right I, didn't, yeah, I, I tracked that for like a week and then I was like you know I'm not even gonna worry about it anymore yeah. and right. then before I knew it like the next day that shit was like gone like, yeah like, it's like, oh husband, shit, yeah. you see fucking the playoffs Bill came. <laughs> like, <laughs> the right. playing right. tournament with right. LeBron. Right. I'm like, exactly. yeah, yeah, we don't give a fuck about you, Cameron. We got to see if LeBron's going to make it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's just, it's just something can't happen. Like, okay, so, like the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing, I want to I wanna know how long this is going to last. Because it, it was a good, strong two weeks. Everybody was talking about it on all the podcast shows. It's all on TV. I said it. I talked about it on here. Boom, mm -hmm. boom. And now it's kind of like, it's kind of fading away a little bit. Yeah. And they yeah, keep throwing is. something it out is. there. But now that she's coming back with her red table, I think it resparked it. Respark it. It just resparked it, and so everybody was reminded again. You know, yeah. and then we had a different view of it, yeah. right? Because right. I felt like at first I was like, "Damn, black men saving all women mm -hmm. around the world." Yeah. Black women, you know what <laughs> I mean? I was like, "Finally, a black man is standing up for right. a black woman." Mm -hmm. But then when they kind of like changed the narrative and like showed like Jada's face and all oh, like the past, you don't think Jada toxic? No, yeah, yes, and then I was like, toxic. and then I was like, oh, this is all Jada's fault because yeah. it really made Will step out of character. But at that moment, I appreciated him, like for mm -hmm. going up there and standing up for black women. But this you know? she, she should have did the ah, ah, ah. Yeah. she could ah, ah, nah, 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 <laughs> not now. Yeah. Because I was his but, first Oscar. Well, Come, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if this was any other situation, I would have been like, yeah, Will Smith had to put the hands on. Yeah. Right. But yeah. first, oh, you worked your whole. 30 year career for this. But do you really think he was thinking about that Oscar or was he really thinking about saving hey, his wife at that moment? I don't think he was thinking about that look Jada I didn't yeah, think he was thinking about what Jada yeah. was going to say, but they have a history of, of shit like that. That's why I think Jada's toxic. I don't mind Will Smith stand up for of course, of course, right. his wife. Right. But I was perfectly fine when he was at the seat like, keep my wife's name after <laughs> fucking <laughs> No, like he could have did that, right. yeah, and, and she could have been like, "Oh, he he took yeah, her yeah, 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 you yeah. about to ruin your home." You know, I was watching a, uh, you know, I was looking up on that shit, man, and uh, Jada was having an affair with August so Alcina, mm -hmm. and, and I didn't even know that. It was well, with uh, August Alcina, yeah, yeah. which yeah, which was that. her son's friend, yeah. I, I, Isn't that I didn't crazy? Know that. No, and crazy. then like Will's like that ever happens to me like I'm taking off like <laughs> my son got a few fine friends like <laughs> well she got to saying that, that she was uh, mom don't fuck my friends <laughs> mom <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, get out here fuck my you know just make my hot I'm grounded he's <laughs> not <laughs> what fuck <laughs> he's playing my PlayStation <laughs> mom in my bullshit room. it's bullshit <laughs> but I will feel like as like. Your son bring home the, the dude, right. like, it's my friend. Oh, he, right. you, know, you probably yeah. know he's an R&B singer. You're like, yeah, motherfucker, this nigga. He's, yeah. he's, he's yeah. sexy, yo. But I think he has but the, the thuggish. Because he was like a thug R&B. You know, Not Chris really. Brown got everybody on that game. No, R&B. Yeah. Not really. Because he was, at first, you know, I thought he was kind of sweet. Oh, no. Oh, to the death that I'm going to die, you know, you, you, I don't think he was ever that good. He's okay. He's not, like. My number one pick when I listen to him, yeah. When he comes on the radio, I'm like, yo, all right, that's that sounds good. But it's not like I'm like Alexa. Play all. Oh, yeah, I'll it's see. not like yeah, no. Okay. But damn, not the uh, dude in the house. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? You gonna fuck with somebody uh, else? Get you something was, out there. Get you a sneaky link. They weren't fucking in the house. Weren't they fucking while he was on tour? It doesn't even matter. Yeah. That's yeah. my son's friend. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, and what happened was he fell in love. Yes, he fell That's in love. That's what happened. He started boss. the whole thing. He started the whole you thing. You can't like, fall in love. And any younger guy I'm messing up. Well, hold on now. Hold on now. You can't tell him you can't fall in love because we don't I know what uh him. we don't know what damn what was that? He hit the mic. Oh hit damn. The mic. I thought I messaged. I don't know what that was. I thought somebody <laughs> just popped in on here. Um 
hacking our show. Because yeah. doing that red table talk, she was saying that how, well, I thought we was done. You know, right. uh, her, her and Will Smith, boom, boom. And ain't no telling what she was telling that little young nigga like at that time. And he, I, I and, and, so from so what I heard, oh, no, no, it, well, well, I, it ain't even that. It's Jada Pinkett from Set It Off. But she's a, a woman different world. too. At the end of the day, but I'm saying, but she's an oh, so idol to her us. Her pussy is yeah. gold because she's Jada Pinkett. Basically, that's what you're saying. Well, I gotta try it first. I'm pretty sure <laughs> if I try it, it ain't gonna yeah, be that yeah, good. Yeah, I'm like, you know, you know, we like, we we shot a, we like, I'm pussy good. I'm pussy. And the soupy yeah. smash like, man, that shit wasn't yeah. even. We're like, yeah. we overhyped the pussy yeah, yeah, yeah. before we get. Yeah. I hate doing that too. Overrated. Overrated. Yeah. Overrated. Yeah. Way overrated. Way overrated. So, you know. uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But it's Jada Pinkett. It's like right. I, it's like it could be Beyonce. Like right. Beyonce yeah. touched right. me. I'm right. like, oh no, I've been, I'm in love, and you want to give me the chance? Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm falling in love. I was already in love with you through the TV. Right. Now you in my car? Right. Oh, no, we, it's, we're done. And I still I still think that Jada was telling August some things. Like, you know, right. I'm done with Will Smith. But she never really did. She never really wanted to marry Will Smith or none of that stuff. So, Well, I mean, when I was watching a confessional, mm-hmm. you know, um, August was saying, like, he was giving his heart to her, man. And, mm-hmm. you know, so I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't care who initiated it. But... Jada Pickett, I think, is. I don't know. She, what? she, she's just. I don't know. This is it, what I think. It's it a, I said, okay. Oh, I just think. You gotta think about it, man. She went from Tupac to Big Willie style. <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. To getting jiggy. With Oh, nice. Mm. No, even though I right. think his first two albums are classics. Yeah. My mama used to talk uh, albums all the time. I was, you know, yeah. Right, right, right. yeah, 100%. I give it a will. But you got this one for two parts. She like that thug. She like that thug shit. Will yeah. Smith was just too good. And you know how y'all, y'all women like them little thug motherfuckers. I don't know I don't know why y'all like to get stressed out. Yeah. Y'all like them little, your little thugs to stress y'all out a little bit. But yeah. I understand. It's a, it's a thrill. Yeah. You know. But she went from that to two parts. I mean, to uh, Will Smith. The number, the best rapper in the world, but to a lot of people, Tupac. Yeah. To um, get jiggy with it. But that's just like how they say, like with Sierra and Russell from Future. Mm-hmm. You know, and that topic just came up, right? About how she left this thug, I guess, the she was it, right? Future, uh, right. and then she went to Russell, who is a square. And to me, he's not a square. Like he's like the all-around American black yeah. man, right? Mm-hmm. So they are saying that she left and went. So I don't, I don't know. I, I guess it's the way somebody. Russell ain't even really black. He got good hair. That nigga got good hair. (laughs) But still, to the world, he is. But but. Sierra stands up for Russell. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. She's there and she's by his side. You don't see anything in the tabloids. But she also dated Bowell. (laughs) <laughs> so oh, yeah, she also yeah. did it by oh, yeah, 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 I forgot true. about that. I'm not gonna let her, yeah, not gonna let her die without mentioning that one again. Yeah. Wasn't it 50 cents too? Yeah, she yeah, did it. 50, I was, I was cool with the yeah. 50. It was 50 cent, then I think, yeah, 50 cent, mm-hmm. then yeah. Bow Wow, and yeah. then now she's with Russell. So, right, but, and Future. Don't forget she got a little boy for Future. But she also dated Bow Wow. And she's taller than Bow Wow. Way taller. Yo, but my son, me and my son was talking about that the other day. Like, he's like, he wants a woman that's taller than him. He was like, I just find taller women sexy. So I guess some men don't mind a woman being taller. They're like walking that horse into the uh, (laughs) the restaurant. (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen Bow Wow lately? Just pick your chair, baby. Just go ahead. No, I haven't. Well, let himself go. Yeah. Has he? Who? Bow Wow. His he's daughter not, is. Yeah, I mean, no, he, he just he, he's, he's fucking. He's, he's almost forty. What are you yeah. talking about? He's just awesome. regular. <laughs> he's just a regular oh, so middle yeah. aged guy. So now he's regular, but Jada isn't. No, I'm talking about. He's talking right. about. He let himself go. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hold on, we're not getting Jada. Jada I'm just is saying. toxic. Yeah. Just, you know why she's toxic? Topic, she yeah. didn't age. That's a wizard. <laughs> yeah. 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 She, yeah. yeah, she's what, doing yeah. some wizardry. You know, like some sorcery. Pit. Yeah. Will Smith yeah, losing weight. Like, he all yeah. got, you know, gray hairs and stuff. Now, here her ass. Still got the beautiful eyes. Yeah. I guess that's like Michelle and Obama. Because yeah. yeah, Obama didn't get no gray hairs until so he became the president. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then Michelle, yeah. she didn't. He was packing them packs of Newport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That nigga get, yeah. 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 get fresh out of press time. Yeah, let me get a lighter. Shit, fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, but oh damn, I lost my train of thought. But Russell, I think he's cool. I do too. But yeah, it's a 
I'm gonna get back to Sierra because she okay. dated Bow Wow Cutter. That is one of my topics. Okay, is it? Okay. Um, cool. We will get back to that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how tall is your son? He is five eight and a half, two hundred okay. and five pounds. Mm-hmm. Baseball Damn. player. Football, yeah, I'm about to say he's a baseball he football. Sixteen. Yeah, he's a baseball football. Yeah. Shit. That's cool. <laughs> and he want a taller woman. He wants a taller woman, so I guess he's gonna, you know, he's just 16, so she, yeah. but his girlfriend, you know, she's a little critique thing, really short. I think know. he's like a vibe. I think, I think that's yeah. in his mind, that's what he wants, but it's a vibe. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think he goes off vibes. Yeah. I think so. Man, my son is, is 11 girl. and 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. good. like 140 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they said he lost weight, so like 130. Okay. okay. But. Well, my daughter's 10, 4'9", 135 pounds. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn what? She plays softball. Who's these daddies? How the hell are they daddies out here? They yeah. got NBA players and stuff. Alex Rodriguez. On the low low. They both are. Baseball. Okay. Yeah. She got baseball players right. in the tuck. <laughs> uh, but that's cool, though. Um, because most women don't like dating short and guys. So I, I want to see how he. It, yeah. No. I mean, if he does get to that point, um, how he pull that off. Yeah. Because yeah. me, I just can't see. Well, I guess, like, you know, because when you lay down in the bed, you're the same height, right? Oh, so yeah, that but that but doesn't matter. But I guess um, I had a good friend. She's like five, six, maybe five, seven, and her husband was like five, five. They were in the military, and he was way shorter than her, and they were deeply in love until you know recent divorce. But so we didn't see anything I mean, wrong with it. I guess because they were so confident in their relationship, so you never really <clears throat> seen that height. It, it depends, man. See, like the my my kid's mother, she's five nine. Okay. But she looks six three. With the, you know, since you with put the heels, heels, heels on, on. Like, yeah, right. you got to let her go in first. Go ahead. Right. 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 But I'm, I'm five nine too, right. but her so five nine is, is just different. like what it's different. So I'm not going to. You right. 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 Me. You hand. call me when you sit down. <laughs> nah, but but she was confident with it, right? Oh, yeah, she's yeah. confident. So but you know, I'm it's 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 gonna be oh that's interesting. I want to visit. I want to talk to your son. Like when you start pulling these tall girls, let me know how you. I want to see how you how you work that. Yeah, cause that's cause we don't really get what we like our tight like our, you know what I'm saying it's yeah. like we always yeah. like I like this yeah you create but this big ass this. list of yeah, yeah. So are females you or males are you settling then no we just go off the vibe yeah you're going off because the vibe. now you gotta be you gotta mature now yeah but yeah you do have to mature but isn't there a saying whatever you ask God for He will give right you got to right. want it you gotta always want it. you can't put any denial in it at all I'm like, gonna tell you what you what know I, you got to mm. believe in it. When, when I was coming up, I had a damn fetish <laughs> for sh- the little short, the five foot, dark skinned girls. Yeah. Like, come have, pull them. Yeah. Come pull them. Light skinned girl walk through there. I don't know how. They they, they come to pull me. I'm like, yeah, how yeah. the fuck does this even work? The, op- the, the little short, opposite. evil. Right. Short, e- and she can be evil. You know, the short girls, they, they just evil. I don't know. You gotta establish dominance. Yeah, you gotta pick them up, girl. You don't fuck. Them. <laughs> they like that shit. Oh my god. Some women like that. I know some women. I mean, yeah, it's, I'm it's not a, saying it's I a, don't. A, I'm line. not saying I don't. I'm just saying it's a fine line to domestic balance and it yeah, is. yeah, and it just is. showing your dominance. Yes, yeah, I think yeah. When a man mm. does like step up and does show that he's the boss, you're like, oh, you're so sexy. Cause y'all be running your mouth too. Be like, I know, goddamn. I got them. But yeah, testing our limits. We're testing the water to see how. Unquote, how far manly can go? you are? Well, how far y'all can we we yo y'all push us how far we can go? Y'all, y'all we know it. how far we can go. We just mm-hmm. want to see if you want to stand yeah. up and do it. Y'all see and like one. tell us to step back. Don't talk about Chipotle around him. He gets mad. Uh-huh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but then y'all keep it in the tuck to get us, man. <laughs> man, Chipotle ain't shit. Man, what the yeah, fuck you talking about? about? Yeah. <laughs> but I tell like um. See, somebody my said, "Who is that?" Oh. They say God gives you what you need, not what you want. I oh, don't believe boy, in that. Boom. I don't oh, believe boom. in that. God will give you what you want. That is not true. I don't. He mm. will give you what you need, but also He will give you what you want. Just like if you want a house and you pray on it long enough, you usually get that house. So you can't say God is not going to give you what you want. He's going to give you what you want also. Yeah. That's what he built so, earth for. I, I just, I just thinking the the rules of life when it comes to like you always just get your opposite somehow. Like whatever you want, you always end up with something totally different. Opposite and I think you have to mm-hmm. do it, not just in looks, but if you a dirty nigga, she can't be dirty too. And I see some yeah, couples yeah. like that. Yeah, there's there's you stepping right. in the house like, like, house, like what the? Down. One of y'all got to be clean now. <laughs> just one. one of y'all got to clean up. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
And you know what I'm saying? Just like the yeah. total opposite. Like, you want this, mm-hmm. but I thank God. Like, now nah, I'm going to give you what you need, mm-hmm. motherfucker. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, uh-huh. you think you want this, but I'm going to just give you what you need. I'm a, yeah, and then so you're going to work into You're right. Yeah. Looks do change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it definitely looks do change. Yeah. My wife is completely up. Well, you know, as long mm-hmm. as y'all make it work, you know. I'm not saying like opposites can't attract. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, mm-hmm. if you do ask God for what you want, He be he patient. Goes, yeah, yeah be you, patient. you talk about the patient part. Patience. Yes, you don't do. want to settle. You, Yo, you a girl been single right. for six years. I am as patient as patient can be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's any more patient. Like my son was today. Like. My son is talking about going to Kansas State for college because mm-hmm. that's where he wants to play baseball, right? Right. And I'm like, so who's going to come take down their Christmas tree from mm-hmm. the attic? He was like, you got two years to find a man, so you need to pray a little <laughs> bit harder. <laughs> he gave you a time stamp. You got two right? years. You only got two years. That's it. Two years, right. And I was telling him, I was like, yo, when you come home for Thanksgiving break, you take down the Christmas tree. Uh-huh. And he was like, so when I'm going to put it up? I said, when you come home for spring break, we're just going to have to put a sheet or something over that Christmas mm-hmm. tree. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. So you come home and put it up. So, unless I find a man by then. Well, you got two years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, so, well, I mean, we'll have you out, but you know, yes, we it. got you. You heard what the kids said. <laughs> That's we don't even want to help y'all. See, that's what you get. I got niggas out for that shit. No, no, no. What he's saying is, you need a man. You know, right? Don't get these niggas to spoil you like that. Oh, uh, but yeah, I got you. So, speaking of opposites, right? Rihanna, ASAP Rocket. How do y'all really feel about that relationship? Is it real? Like, I don't know, man. Like, they, she just popped up yeah. pregnant by old Dirty Harlem nigga. I don't well, understand that. I've, I've heard about it, but I never watched it. Right, because they've <laughs> always been, like, in the public together, but never so much as, like, the media talks about them or TMZ until she popped up pregnant beautiful mm-hmm. in all these sexy clothes that yeah. she's wearing and she's glowing. Now they're talking about it. But you don't so. think that's, like, a total... I, I just never would thought Rihanna... Rihanna, man. See, you would think it would be Drake. See, everybody wants it to be Drake. Hey, I why? thought I thought it was Drake from the beginning, man. And Did man, you? Yes, a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. I think she let go of light skinned niggas at the Chris. You Brown. think so? At the Chris oh, Brown oh, with that oh, ass. Yeah. Now I got to stop you there. Like, <laughs> but you know, no, I, but see, hold on. Okay, so this is the um, go ahead. I'm gonna so, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. <clears throat> real quick, so yeah. we don't know what happened between that shit. Like, you know, she might have just pulled up on him and been like, hey, that's why you can't dance. <laughs> you, <laughs> fucking dance you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, fuck you know? But, you, you know, know. ain't Michael Jackson, nigga. But no, I like, you know, I thought of, you know, if, if it wasn't fucking Drake, then it was gonna, you know, it probably was gonna be, uh, you know, either Chris Brown or Because Rocky. she went back to him? Yeah. Because then she go back to him, right? After that? After yeah. the yeah. one for a brief Another moment. Chance. See, yeah. Um, she doing that Jada, that Jada Pika shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. So how do you feel about it? I'm about, I'm about to okay, goddamn right, do it. So Chris Brown was too gangster. Which, he, yeah. which, which sadly he ended up putting his hand on her. Right. right. Which we don't know what happened in that Lamborghini. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and then I think she tried to go to Drake. But Drake too soft. Yeah. Because Drake is too consistent. He was a hoe. He a consistent hoe, though. See? <laughs> he a good ain't shit nigga. And, yeah. and, that, and I'm going to get to those guys in a minute because I like those guys, right? We ain't shit, but we so consistent. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, fuck with him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, mean, I text you every day. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, consistent. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got three of them. Right. Well, yeah. you, you you would never thought, like, this motherfucker's really good at yeah. spraying out his time. Exactly. You know? And I and, and I think right. that's a Drake thing, right? Mm-hmm. And I think Chris Brown was just too too tough for her. And I think ASAP Rocky just, like. Metal hurt out. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I thought he was, doesn't he wear skirts and stuff? Or am I thinking about something? Think else? about it. He dark skinned like a gangster motherfucker, right? <laughs> right? And then he dressed like a light skinned motherfucker. This is true. So she got yeah. both of both worlds, yeah. right? Yeah. But I'm thinking more like it got to hurt like a real motherfucker with money that Rihanna just messed with. I, mean, I ain't saying Rocky ain't got she no got money, money, but though. no, I'm saying oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, okay. like me, if I was a billionaire, I'm like, really, Rihanna? <laughs> I, I own a state. I just bought a state, and you messing with this dreadhead motherfucker from. Yeah. Well, I don't think yeah. she's even worried about that because money isn't everything. She got enough for both of them. Pretty much that's what it is. She got enough for her. For the, and they're not married. You got to remember. No, yeah, that. I got yeah. They you they probably they, had us some type of. No, they've been fucking for a long time. For a long time. They, they love like, each yeah, yeah. other. You know, and maybe Ooh, they're just not gonna get married. Rocky, you know? man. I just would have thought it'd be somebody with a little higher statue than. 
No, I don't know. Like, it, it was the homie first, and that's how it always happens. That's how it always you happens. Know, I'll, 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 I'll give you know, I will give her that. You are, you are okay. perfect. The best relationship. I married my homie, and that's why we our marriage friends. didn't work. That's when messed up. Break on that. It when you're friends, it uh-huh. happens a whole lot better. Right. right. You know that, and, and, and you know that's how we, you know, that's how I waited for my wife. Like you know, we started talking, we worked together, grocery store, hair Steve. and. Oh, a little bougie Things, store too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, went, so yeah and, it, and it went from there. Like you know, but I waited nine years in order for me to ask her to marry mm-hmm. me because Damn, I was like, that's that's dedication, listen, consistency. Listen. That's what Russell Simmons was talking about. That consistency. Yeah, because listen, vegan. I, I figure, listen, like I, I, this is this is how I think about it, right? So, you know, like I don't know if you ever heard of this. I'm pretty sure you have, but like you know, when I was you know young, 18, mm-hmm. 19, 20, dating. Women put guys on this three month rule because they uh-huh. figure if you know you give it up and you you know uh-huh. you start falling for this guy uh-huh. in like a month or oh, so, yeah. then it's it's just not really nothing. So three months, you know, it's got to show something. But you know, for me, like I didn't fall that. I follow my gut. And I was like, hey, listen, I'm right. I'm gonna see how bad she wants it with mm-hmm. all this like with all the shit that I've been through and like like how bad I am. All that shit. You know, I'm gonna give her the same in return. Right. So it took like nine years for me to ask her to, this woman to marry me. So and it turned out to be the best thing of, in my life. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. Said, like, That's when, when you're patient and you yeah. do stuff like that, man, it 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 works out in the long run. Mm-hmm. But can you do you think like people like let's say for instance our grandparents because it usually doesn't happen. But can you fall in love with somebody in less than three months and be married to them in six months? Because I, I th- did that. I think you can follow somebody in a couple of days. Yeah, and if the like, vibe is right. Yeah, yeah if the vibe exactly. is right, man. I mean, you know, yeah. it's just it just depends on how uh, telepathically oh, I like inclined that you are f- to that person. You know, you know what I mean. Oh, like, right. you know, it, it just it just depends. It just depends. Mm-hmm. For me, like, I don't think that will ever happen. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think it'll ever happen because. Are you a thinker and a planner? My wife will tell you that I'm an overthinker, but yeah. like, which I am, because I want mm-hmm. everything to be exact. I don't right. want any f- mess ups in my life. Okay. So, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, for me, I don't think it ever. Happen, but I mean, not, not saying that it can't. Right. But I mean, you know, it, like for me, it's, it's extremely rare that that would happen. Right. You know, for a guy, you know, a guy or a girl to, or a woman or a man to know someone, you know, mm-hmm. each other for like a certain amount of days, days. Come on, man. Like, you know, when you talk to your grandparents or, you know, your mom and dad, you know, they'll tell right. you, like, that's been married for, like, like my mother-in-law uh-huh. and father-in-law have been married. I don't want to get her wrong just right. in case they're watching this. But, but right. I mean, I, I'm, I like think, like, 30-something 30, 30 yeah. like mm-hmm. years. Right. Brutal. Brutal, man. Like, marriage is war, man. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not like even relationships. Mm-hmm. You know, you just can't, like, just jump into something and just think it's going to you know, uh, like you're going to accept her faults. It, it doesn't work like that. I mean, you know, you, you like he said, you know, the vibes got the vibes got to be right. And you got to be willing to sacrifice and, um, fight you know, for it. yeah, fight for it. Right. So uh, can't give up so easily. But are that's we so taught easily. divorce but at a young age? Hmm? Don't you believe we're taught divorce at a young age? Like we're taught to give up like before, like any other country, America has the highest divorce rate. I did hear this on another podcast. Mm-hmm. So the guy was saying we were taught divorce at a young age. Like whenever you date your boyfriend, if you don't like him, what you do, you break up with him and you get another one, right? So mm-hmm. that's just like with marriage or anything in life. If you don't like your job, what do you do? You give it up and you get another job, right? You get something better. Mm-hmm. So we're taught to give up at such a long age. So I believe that we are taught divorce at a young age. Like if your marriage isn't working, what do you do? You go sign some papers and you marry somebody else. You, I'm sure you know somebody that's been married four or five times. Yeah, but and still haven't gotten it right. Yeah, this is my thing with that, right? And I'm gonna judge this off military and. I'm just gonna judge you off being young. Period. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it depends on what you got married for. A lot of people get married for just for the wrong reasons. They, they get married because they think it's right, yeah. Yeah. and that's right, that, right. that's when you right. get stuck into a marriage life for six, seven, eight years. You miserable. Now, why, why would you rather be right. miserable for six, seven, eight years? Right. Because all right, I got this girl pregnant. I'm just gonna marry her because right. you. I yeah. thought it was the right I thing right. to do. Yeah. Ten years go by. I'm fucking miserable. I'm gonna cheat anyway. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So why just get up out of the whole situation? Mm-hmm. Or just like in the military, motherfuckers. 
they meet a girl at the strip club and <laughs> oh fall in love, boom boom. Don't even know this fucking don't girl. It, don't even know especially from overseas. Though. Yeah, right? especially from overseas. Now they get the exotic women right. overseas and now, oh I got to bring this one right, back. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then now five about uh, you know, two two, three years later, now they realize who the real person, person is. is right. Yeah, she get up out of there. English. Right. So <laughs> it, I, I think it just all depends on what you got married for. Right. The people right. that got married because right. I thought it was the right thing right. to do, they always in a fucked up situation. Right. Right. Not not because they actually love that person. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, on TikTok earlier, and I uh, right like actually before I came here, and I uh, seen this post right, and the guy was saying that, which applies to this right. So he was basically saying like if you go like if if you're wanting to talk to to someone and like get with them or marry them or whatever you have to accept that person for right. what you know who they are it no mm-hmm. it's, it's no like hey look we're gonna compromise or we're gonna mm-hmm. you know why should you settle you, right. you, you, you hurt met each other. me this way right and you married me this way right. don't right. change me once i get into the right. marriage you, you knew now me. if i'm fucked up financially you might you need to start saving okay like yeah <laughs> yeah teach, right teach me that 100 right. but right. don't you know, just like exactly. you playing video games. I met you yeah. playing the like, video playing game. Like, what are you talking like, about? Like, I'm, I'm not doing nothing crazy out right. here. Right. Um, we're going to set that for another topic. Because I have my own <laughs> views about marriage and polygamy <laughs> and all type of crazy shit. Right? So, um, <laughs> oh, it's a, it definitely yeah, is a, a good thing. Because I, I think, right. and I just, you know, yeah, it's just, okay, it's just, just me living. Yeah, we'll, we'll say this for another show. It's just me living life, what I've seen and what I experienced and what right. I went through. You know, it's Definitely. it's like they, they somebody taught us to love one man, one woman, and that, that's for if right. some people ain't right. built to more live. Right. To more, all right, some people ain't built to love more than one person. That's just yeah, that's just yeah. that's yeah. just that's you, that's my right. God. Right. You know? But some people are right. built to. <laughs> love more we're Drakes out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're very consistent, <laughs> and we make it work, you know. But um, but we are we we have been like taught a certain way, mm-hmm. and then. You, Cause all the countries I've been through, they ain't living, they ain't doing it like we doing it. Right, right. So it's not. like, damn, man, yeah, and it's working. Like, it's working yeah, for man. them. Yeah. You know? Right. I mean, yeah, that that and that gives you a whole mm, different a, yeah. perspective mm-hmm. on how to go about things. I mean, like, you know, you see over in you know Iraq, you know, you got the you know in the, the eastern region, you have these women right. and, mm-hmm. and, and claws, and they're not um, lawfully not not able to reveal that to you mm-hmm. until marriage you know right. like which i that think that would make me want to somebody even more like right. yo i need to see what's going on yeah oh, right exactly oh, like i keep telling people i say you can't <laughs> stop what's <laughs> gonna happen right. you, right. Like, you can right. tell a girl everything right. they're like word word right. okay right. <laughs> so, yeah. so what's up you know what they're like i told you now and so that's why i'm saying like women sharing men today and men sharing women today it's 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 out there but we, you know, it's it's just frowned upon. I think right. some people are just capable of doing it, and some people just ain't ain't built like that. Right. You know? So it's all about how you want to live. Uh-huh. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think I just think in America, we should have a choice to have polygamy or straight. Nigga, you can marry your dog, nigga. Yeah. Not your you, dog. Yeah. yeah. You, it's called. Yeah. Um, I got um, a badass one at home. What's it you called? Married her. You ain't married. Her. I'm gonna fucking marry these horses and shit. <laughs> I just think it should be an option. That's all. Yeah. What, the okay. option to marry your, your animal? No, no, no. Um, it is. That is. That's yeah, already exists. No, he's saying that. I'm it saying is for option. Oh, that's, that's hard. I'm saying, like, damn, that's the option. That shit, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got a whole pig. <laughs> <laughs> Picture with a pig. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Down on one knee, trying to, on a huff, trying to put a ring on a huff. Like, look at these white people. That's a special name for you. And I can have more than one chick, you know, like women that we all working together, building right. a household. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Right. Help raising these bad Yeah, kids. help these bad Yeah, oh, definitely. Man, when one go down, the other so one can pick, pick up, up on the. Right. Oh, my God. They just don't know. When I don't right. feel like cooking, she can come through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yo. See, because you got to get about two, three of them with different mm-hmm. qualities, right? right? One can cook. Okay, then you right. know what you can do, right? right? You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. One good at cleaning, one good at finance. Right. Right. Everybody can work, but I'm just right. saying, like, but who gets the dick that night? Huh? But who gets the dick? So we gotta be on a schedule. Well, we I mean, that's so up, coin that coin? will be. See, that was, <laughs> think about it. That's the yeah, only downfall. Coin. That's the only downfall. For we got all this money and everything. Now we gotta figure out who getting the dick that yes. night. All right. And you gotta fuck all of it. Only thing that's gonna suck is when yeah. y'all is when you y'all stand, when y'all menstrual cycle sync up. When y'all menstrual cycle sync up. That's the only thing that's gonna suck. Ain't no y'all. But a menstrual cycle ain't stopping nothing. Well, no. I'm talking about the way y'all act. 
Y'all ain't finna be sitting on the couch with all three of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Eating popcorn. Oh, loud <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Damn. Well, well, you know, some people are into that shit, though. Like, uh, uh-huh. fucking, what is it? Uh, you know, poly relationships. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I haven't seen a lot of you those know, lately. That, that, that's not for They're, me. They, they exist low-key because mm-hmm. we can't be out with it, like. And to me, they right. only exist, like, on TV. Yeah. 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 I don't even yeah. see it on TV. Uh, I think. I'm uh, telling you, man. Trouble, I'm gonna be the f- Good Trouble or something. That's a TV show I'm watching. Good Trouble. Yeah, there's. Oh, what uh, network? Hulu. I'm gonna have to watch that. I gotta, I gotta look yeah, at that. Yeah, it's a black woman. Be, Cause yeah. I think we need more shows like that. Yeah. And I have nothing against homosexuals or anything like that. We yeah. got a lot of, right, right, right. we got a lot of them shows though. We got a lot of them in yeah. every show. Right. RuPaul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are y'all kissing in, on in power? Like, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shuck the nigga and kiss the nigga right next to that. No, I, I didn't. Stuff, I never yeah. got into that. But I'm just saying. But right. every show now they push on like they with a ball. I think they're they just scared. trying to. I think they. Okay. Don't you think they're trying to like cater to the millennials because they're now this? What is it? They're non-binary. They're mm-hmm. gay. What else? There's so many acronyms for them now. I think they're just trying to draw their audience in. Right? Yeah. What do you think? Is that well, why they're yeah, putting it in? But I think they pull the gender card. They I pull mean, the gender know, card. They, they didn't do that. Like, but I, I mean, I, that's just me. I, I also scared. I also think that they are scared to see how that polygamy can work. Mm. They scared mm, to yeah, like promote I, that. I, I, I'll I'll how good that. it is. I'll I can that. get that. You yeah. know, they scared because of like that. If we start promoting this, American, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. I'm the, I ain't even talk about the damn pussy. I'm talking uh, about we got four paychecks coming in. Yeah, yeah. We got four paychecks. Definitely. Yeah. One can work at Burger King, the one at Walmart. I'm <laughs> yeah, in the army. Yeah. Like we good. Yeah, right, the right, money right, is going right, to come. Right. We got all these badass kids. We can <laughs> between four of us, we yeah, can figure yeah, it out figure who's it out. taking you going to baseball. You going to the right. baseball practice? All right. I'm gonna take him to the karate. You got your okay. We all good. Right. You know how hard yeah. it is to run back and forth with kids. It's yeah. just like, those attitudes have to stay at bay. Like yeah. I'm very jealous. Like I can yeah. say, like, yo, it's my name. Doing shit. He's mine. Like I would be mad. She's like, no. he's mine for Tuesday. Right. And nah, she'd but, be like, but I'm sick today. I'd be like, bitch, nobody can't. You know, like, yeah. But another <laughs> thing is, you got to find people that's already want to be into it. Like, yes. the, the one thing I told, uh, let me, let me, my homo talk about this all the time. Like, you can't convince a, a, a woman to get into it. Right. It ain't gonna work. Yeah. Don't come. You ain't a pimp, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, this baby, right. slim up, slim down. You gonna get it, dang it down. You know what I'm like? You like, you ain't a pimp. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, she got to be already on that level. Right. Right. That's right. gonna be easier for everybody to work together. Like that whole jealous shit. Like. If I convince you to do it, then you're gonna get jealous. I'm like, this bitch always went to the, you know what I'm saying? But if you already know the whole how to how how it works and and all that, you gotta find people that would like minded to make it work. Right. I don't. I would never want to convince. You know, look, look how much money we can make. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to yeah. sell it to and you. Yeah, you gotta to be already persuade you. To yeah, do that I don't want to like, persuade you to do it. I want you to be already on that fucking level, like yeah. you said. I want to already be on that level yeah, yeah. to where we can fucking. Come to a mutual agreement to do this shit at the same. Because the nigga that married the pig, the pig don't know what's going on. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And the pig is gonna die so much sooner. Yeah. 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 So, My wife died. Yeah. Well, he goes yeah. to the lamb after that. The goat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stick up another barm. He's fucking all the barm animals. <laughs> yeah. He don't even. Like, he don't even have a farm. He just got barm uh, animals. Uh, no farm, just the animals. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you doing with a goose can, over there? You think he would be able to go to a woman after that? Like. I'm just saying these people that want to marry animals, right? How do you tell somebody my last wife was a dog? <laughs> you know, like, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know, like. <laughs> but somebody will fuck with him. That's the crazy part. And she sent it on. Yeah, I know he. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you still all kind of bust. <laughs> right. crazy, yeah, he married a moose last year. Yeah, man, he had the most beautiful horn I've ever seen. But I love him though. <laughs> like what, bitch? But I can't have two feet. I can't have two females. Fat as What is the world yeah. coming to, man? Yeah, oh. I definitely get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you know, every time I preach to everybody. Okay, next topic. Okay, what's right? the next, next topic? topic. Okay. What's the brokest thing you ever did? Like you was down to your last. I had broken so long. Let's see. Thank God. Ooh, <laughs> you hear that? Did you hear the stunt? <laughs> Man. Oh, hold on. <laughs> no. No, relax. Like 
no. Yes, you did. You did. Yes, you did. Oh, the stunt nose. I yeah, oh, she stunt nose. Oh, God. Shit, I ain't been broken so long. God. Uh, yeah. I do know when I was in the military. Uh-huh. Do you remember those payday loan places? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we I would go like to... like five of them up the street. Are they mm. still open? Yeah. 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 yeah, they would be in business. That's like a great business. Uh-huh. So, like, I would go get $100, and then, mm. you know, you got to pay, like, 125 back. Right. So I paid 125 back, but as soon as I would pay that, I'd be like, yo, can I borrow another 100 <laughs> Damn, that's fucking crazy. So it was like a weekly thing. Like, I was, you know, spending 100 pay, yeah. but I get paid, I paid 125 back. Yo, but I need another 100 because I just gave you my last. Let me get it. <laughs> yes, let me get, let me get that You don't slid them there and then right. turn your hand let this me, way. Yeah, 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 let me. Can I get yeah, that but, back? But before <laughs> you put that up, let me get, you know, let me, like, let me yeah, get that back. Yeah, let me get that back. <laughs> what you got? Yeah. What you got? Man, you know, it, it, it's, I would say it's common. Um, the brokest thing I've ever done, man, I, I believe, um, was when I moved to Texas, Houston, Texas, uh, mm-hmm. Pasadena, uh, at 18, slept in a car. We had to sleep in a car. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I went down there with my, uh, you know, my homeboy, you know, childhood friend, you know, I was telling you guys mm-hmm. about before the show. But, right. Um, you know, I, yeah, we, we slept in a car for like, a week and a half, two weeks. You know, Damn, fucking, no depressing, uh, man. Uh, Shit. You know, we you know we had another guy with us that we went to school with, okay. and you know he he fucking bounced out. Like, oh you know yeah, what I'm he, didn't like, it. he had an uncle in fucking Dallas, I think, and you know he took us over there for a couple of nights, but right. after that it was still like. Uh, so you know, y'all was y'all trying bounce. to thug it out though. Right. That that was the yeah. whole thing. thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanted like we was gonna do this together. So what happened together. after that? Like, did y'all end up staying um, man, or coming back? you know back? what? You know, and, and, you know, I'll, I'll start by saying this. Mm-hmm. You know, God is good, man. Oh, I mean, because mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. after, you know, a week after he left, man, like well, like five days after mm-hmm. he left, um, you know, I said fuck it, dude. You know, because I'm, I'm like I'm like one of them, man. Like I, I take care of my own, dude. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, I'll give you the shirt off my back if I if you need it. That that's just what I got to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about giving, man, and so. You know, when that happened, man, I, you know, you know, I know, I knew my dude was going to go through it, man. Man, mm-hmm. you know, we, we're, we're not emotional creatures. We're just built to, mm-hmm. you, you know, to, to provide. Um, so, you know, I knew he was going through it. I was just like, man, you know, I was thinking to myself, I was like, shit, well, what, where have I worked at? Where, mm-hmm. where, where can I get into easy? Yeah. You know, so I ended up, um, that next day we went out applying for applications. I said, look, dude, I'll tell you what, this is what we'll do. Mm-hmm. We'll go out. Apply for applications, man. We already sleeping in a car in the parking lot. And, and before then, like, you know, when we were doing it, like, um, you know, cops would come out mm-hmm. the door. Like, you know, we, you know, we can't, you know, we can't be there. Um, but we still did it because we, 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 we had, had nowhere else to go. Right. Yeah. And then so we ended up getting a shelter. And I said, I, I tell you what, dude, I know he didn't want to stay there. Uh-huh. I know he didn't want to stay I didn't leave. But, you know, it's survival of the fittest, mm-hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we went there. I was like, you know, on the ride there, I was like, look, dude, I tell you what, man. I promise you, I'm gonna have a job, you know, before this week is out. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, you know, and I, like I said, I just prayed on it. You know, you know I was brought up in the church, right. by the way. Mm-hmm. You know, Lomber, you know, uh, down down home. Oh, got no Lomber. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so so, I always learned coming up that you know you don't have to go to church, mm-hmm. you know, to 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 receive the word, as long as you believe in God and you continuously <clears throat> read your Bible, then that, you know, that, that'll get you by. So I was like, you know, like I said, back, you know, I, I, was, I was like, look, look, dude, you know, before, you know, this week is out, dude, or by next week, I'll have a job. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, you know, we, I said, we, we can go fill out applications, do whatever we need to do, but we, we, we got to get some sort of income because the last thing I needed for us to do is fucking, you know, go to jail, get a ticket mm-hmm. or something that we can't pay that's going to get us in even more trouble. And, you know, I started feeling out. I was like, so, like, I was right, I was thinking about that shit in my head, like, that list of jobs that I would be applicable for in my head. And I was like, fuck, Wendy's. Mm-hmm. Right. Fucking McDonald's. Hardee's. And, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, you know, and this was, like, on day six. And, like, right after, like, right after he left, I was like, man, fuck. You know, what are mm-hmm. we going to do? So, you know, I started writing down them fucking, you know, filling out those applications. And right after that, like a day or two after that, you know, I got a call. I didn't know who it was from. I thought it was a scammer. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, cause I, cause I'm, I'm new to the area. I don't know. I don't know any numbers. So, 
but I answer it anyway. I'm like, hello, um, you know, uh, owner, you know, not the owner, but the uh, manager of Wendy's, you know, he was, she was calling me. She was like, yeah, I'm blah, blah, blah. Yo, I'm manager of Wendy's. I wanted to come set you up for an interview. Uh, I was like, look, I, and I told her, I said, dude, we, we, I, I didn't really tell her we didn't right. know where to go. I was like, look, I really need this job. Mm -hmm. What can you do for me? And she was like, look, we want to hire you. Like after right. talking to it, like, and I thank God that, you know, I was blessed with the gift of like, I, right. I mean, I could talk my way out of paper bag, man. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just good with people. Mm -hmm. I'm a people, people person naturally. Mm -hmm. um, she was like, Hey, look, I'll tell you what we do. We're, we're, we're going to skip the interview mm -hmm. and you know, when can you start? I said, look, I can start yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right. And I started that next week on, a, I think on a Wednesday. And, um, yeah. And, and from there, my first paycheck, you know, we, we, we dug it out. Like we snuck in like, cause he was, you know, he was at his girl's house, okay. you know, but her daddy wanted to stay tonight. Right. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, I understand right. that, but she, you know, snuck us in the window mm -hmm. and shit. And, you know, we mm -hmm. stayed in there and like fucking next week when I got my check, man, we blew out and fucking got a hotel from mm -hmm. there. We, you know, we started continuously started making money. He started working at incredible pizza mm -hmm. and you know, we got an apartment. You know, mm -hmm. I got cable turned on, all that shit, man. So, you know, so it was, just, it was just a blessing, man. Right. Like, you know, mm -hmm. but I, like, I, I don't, I try to make it, like, I had to teach myself a lot of stuff growing up. Mm -hmm. So I was like, look, man, you know, you can only teach yourself so much. And I know, I know you know, father figures are mm -hmm. needed. Right. But, you know, for, for me, I, I, I had to teach myself a lot of shit, man. And I was like, man, yo, from this point on, I'm, 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 I'm going to get it, man. Like, it, I'm mm -hmm. not making no excuses. I'm not doing any of that shit. So, um, yeah, man, like, that that right there for me has got to be, like, the, one of the brokest times I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, okay. well, damn, I yeah. Yeah, Adam's like, uh, got nothing to touch on it. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got one, right. but. <clears throat> uh, what was yours? You're going to get a separate. No, y'all need separate shows. Because, <laughs> like, I really want to hear both of y'all's story. No, it's amazing. Can I, can I, I, I like sharing. The yeah. table with that, and yeah. I don't want to downplay like what no. y'all saying, you know what I'm right. saying? No, no, right. No, but now that I'm like, you keep talking, I'm like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. There's so much. More, I right? need to like really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. give you your your yeah. night. You know man, what I'm saying? Dude, I, I can write a book, man. I like, I'm, and, and, and I can't. I, 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 I thought about it. I thought about it. Everybody can. You just need to start everybody writing. Can, yeah. But recording, whatever. I got you. Yeah. My mom's not gonna be like that. But I see your hustle at work, though. And I always say this, man. When y'all come in older into the army with that ring, y'all y'all just y'all just move different. And and I don't fuck with y'all because I know you already <laughs> seen the world. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I know this nigga right here. Why would you come in? You know what I'm saying? Right. In the army at 35. You know what I'm saying? He already right. Yeah, he already been through whatever ups and downs. And this this was his fuck it. That was just a fucking moment. I'm jumping in the army. And I'd be like, I don't fuck with them yet. Right. I'll wait today. Like, I see them running around like, oh, these motherfuckers moving faster than these 19 year olds. Because right. I know they got some story that I don't have. They already been right. to their war. Yeah. Right, right, right man. And, I mean, yeah. and, and, and they, they tell me that all the time in the shop, man. They're like, yeah. Why did you come in so late? Yeah, it, hey, mm -hmm. are you going to stay 20 years? Listen, dude. It wasn't your past. You know, I tell them straight up like this, man. Like, I'm like, look, dude, I'm doing 20 years. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to go back on that shit because like mm -hmm. anything in life is hard man like what are you going to do to get over it mm -hmm. you know, you I mean, understand what I'm saying? like before this shit man like i was working at amazon mm -hmm. the, our shit went from Yo, 80 90 stops mm -hmm. to you know if you had 140 stops you were on a good day yeah but i like i was like man yo fuck that you know, I called mm -hmm. my wife up and I was like, look, I, you know, I'm, I'm joining the military because this shit is fucking crazy. Yeah. And I did that shit and I'm staying through yeah, it. And I'm going to ask you something, right? And I be telling these little young bucks that want to do three years and get out. <laughs> All right. What you just say? You drop it off Amazon packages and yeah. that shit's crazy. All oh, fucking. The, I had a, a homeboy. He, he doing mail. He still at work. Right. He going to work right. when I go to PT. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I get off. He still right. right here. I said, Oh no, I don't want that life. Yeah. And they think it's easy. And, and I'm not saying, by all means, I'm not saying that the army is everything. I'm saying that right. whatever your path is, if it ain't going right. Some people need to jump in the, in the military. Not even the army. I'm not even saying the army. Just right. jump in the military. Like you will see. Like, oh, should we get all weekends, four days, fucking right. You know, Right, and and that's what, that's, that's what my homeboy is still delivering mail right now. It's crazy. Yeah, that's what that's that's what changed it for me because like 
you know, I got off work one time when I first started, like, when I first started working there. And they were like, hey, um, I got off at, like, it was, like, 9 o'clock. I was like, dude, you understand if I go back out, I was already at the shop yeah. getting ready to go off. I was like, dude, we got families, bro. Like, so you want me to go four or five miles out to come back at, like, 10 o'clock to yeah. drop off, like, six packages? But, you know, they'll, they'll you know, it, it comes from Jeff Bezos it's, it's, himself, man. Yeah. But... I'm just like, dude, you know what? I, I, I mean, you got to be thankful that, you know, military isn't for everybody. I, no, I it ain't. It ain't. It but, but, I mean, mm-hmm. like, you can't argue with getting free food. You, I mean, it's not free, <laughs> Right, obviously. but no, but stuff. I, I, but, I you know, you get food, you, get, get, you wake up, get a guaranteed paycheck every day. But, but All you, you got to do is bust your ass and be at the right spot. You know what's fucked right up? They have to go through what you just went through to appreciate this shit. Right. Like, I didn't appreciate it. I got kicked out of school at 16, had to go to youth trying to kind of move. I got a whole other story, right? Mm-hmm. And working two jobs at 17 years old, wow. that that was one of the reasons I stayed in the military. Because when yeah. I go home on leave or whatever, I see my homeboys for a good hour because right. they just got off That's a job work. going yeah. to another not job. job. Right. Yeah, I'm like, shit, I can't even. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm just out there drinking by myself any goddamn right. way. They working double jobs just to make my check that I make on the 1st and the yeah. 15th. Right. And I ain't you no know saying, but it's like you say, it ain't for everybody. But you got to experience something first to appreciate. Right, right. I ain't, I ain't just talking about armor, just the military in general. Right. Yeah. You know. yeah. But I always say, like, if you lost, just jump in the military for three, four years, mm-hmm. get your mind right. And yeah. then you can jump out and you'll start appreciating. You know how to find oh, jobs. Yes. You start appreciating. Boom, boom. Um, and you appreciate all the friends you make. Because, like, still to this day, there's so many military yeah, friends that I have. And, and I got out, what, almost 20 years ago. Yeah. That's actually the hardest part, though. You meeting people, right. you be stationed for three, four years, and, then you gotta live and, you, yeah, and you might not see them again. again. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I miss all of them. You yeah. like wish like you can build like a neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Those just you guys. Favorite people, right? But uh-huh. this is one of the reasons I started the podcast show mm-hmm. because now they can listen to me right, where anywhere. Oh, that's pretty Talking dope. shit, yeah. drinking. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Right. And now they feel like they're right there. Then they, they, you know, they're jumping my inbox. Yo, that one thing I was talking about. Right. So it's kind of like we all still connect. Right. At a right. That's, that was one of the main right. reasons I started the podcast show. Okay. Uh, back to the 15. I just got tired of like my friends. <laughs> <laughs> one day I'm just in the garage drinking by myself. No, I'm like, no. oh, well, what if I just talk shit on the mic and right, then send it to him? Right, okay. And yeah. then we just go back and forth, you know. I do miss my friends. Because right. I don't have any friends here. It's a lot of friends. Like, when I got deployed on time, yeah. like, I meet people on the deployment. You know, like, oh, shit, yeah. nigga, I'm, you going back to North Dakota? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. Right. Yeah, do the, the color purple and shit. And you say, come visit me. Yeah, like, because yeah, life gets anyway, busy right, and you right, never do get a chance yeah. to visit them. Like, I don't even visit niggas I grew up with. Right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, but we got you, though. We're going to get y'all, like, separate nights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I got y'all, though. It's going to be dope. Yeah. yeah but my brokenest moment ain't got nothing to do with that. Um, <laughs> 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 so it's so funny, right? I just seen somebody just, I thought I was the only one that did the shit. I just seen somebody on TikTok that said that they just did it. So I don't feel embarrassed no more. That's that's why I brought <laughs> the topic up. Oh, I said, you know what? Uh, 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 now I can I can just say my truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he did it. Nigga, I'm about to say my truth now. So this is the brokest thing I ever did. All right. <laughs> you got to hear this. <laughs> so it's like, I'm like an E4. Whatever. So I'm an E4, right? I'm here. I'm at 647 anyway. Right. It was a club on Rayford Road called like Chocolate City Club 910. It, it oh, changed yeah, the name. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you you from around here. Yeah. So it was Chocolate City Club 910. I forgot what it was called at the time, but it was one of them clubs off Rayford, it's off Rayford Road. But anyway, I go in there, super shining. Like, you know, I got my fake ass chains on. <laughs> got my Chevy out front with the 24. Oh, shit. Let me get any doors, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I'm stunting, you know what I'm saying? Broke as shit. <laughs> but I'm stunting, though. <laughs> So me and my niggas be going to club and shit, and um, you know, see a little a little shorty eyeing me, boom boom, I'm like okay, boom, we start talking, boom boom, we exchange some numbers, right? Right. Um, so, and this is back in motherfucking part seven or something okay. like that. So, anyway, we exchange numbers, boom boom. So now we talking throughout the weekend and shit, we texting and all that, boom boom, and um, so it got to the point when she was like, uh. So where you gonna take me out? Like boom boom. <laughs> and I'm like, shit. I, I'm like, shit, I'll take you out any day. Like right. let me know. She was like, Well, what about tonight? Damn. I'll say, uh <laughs> <laughs> So I just I just like left it alone for a minute. I had to think. I had to think. 
So this is the credit thing, right? So it was like a, it was like a, uh, it was a Thursday, uh-huh. but right before payday. So it was like it was like the, it was like the fourteenth or whatever, right? But it was like right, it was like the Friday was like the right. payday. So anyway, I'm like, damn, I'm broke to the mall. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So then I was like, uh, I made up something. So I was just like, shit, I wish I could take you out tonight. I got a night jump tonight, you know what I'm saying? So I probably get off the jump to like 11, boom, boom. And then she was like, oh, nigga, you see, see you playing games. You don't want to take me out. You don't take me out. So now I'm like, I had to sit to put the phone down. I had to sit back again. I had to figure this thing out. So then I came up with a plan. I came up with a plan. It was the plan. All right, so I was like, boom, I hit her back like, man, I ain't scared of you like me. I ain't playing. Like, I'm serious. Right. I said, all right, look. All right, I get done with the night. Ain't, ain't no night jump going on. Ain't even no airborne ops. Right. Right. Ain't, ain't nobody jumping on plane. I said, it's Thursday, though. I was like, all right, so after the night jump, I get off. I'll probably get back to the barracks around 11. You know what I'm saying? I come scoop you up by 11. 30, we're going to get some eat. And she was like, ain't nothing open at 11. 30. I said, the Waffle House. Waffle House. The Waffle House open. 24 right. 7. Right. I even put a little twist on it. I said, that's my ritual. <laughs> when I survive a night jump, it's so scary and dangerous. I go to the Waffle House and I give me a, uh, a fucking all star breakfast. Celebration breakfast. Yes. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And she was like, oh, okay, I feel you, I feel you. I said, well, I said, well, well, so I go scoop her up right. from my right. mama's house because you know, she, right. she was a college student, whatever, favorite state. So I go scoop her up when we go to the fucking Waffle House. And um, and this what happened, right? <laughs> so we get that 1145, right? Oh, right. So I try to hold the, her attention and eating slow until the direct deposit hit. Because oh, I got paid the 15th, right? right. So I shot a, yeah. so I had to keep, keep right. like, yeah, yeah. So keep it distracted. So, 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 keep... so you was a fucking magician yeah. for that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I knew the direct deposit was going to hit yeah. after midnight. Right. Right. So right? But this is back in the day when they had the USA app. Right. No, nah, oh. so I had to like, I got a phone call. Yeah. Right. But you had to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Your balance yeah. is negative. <laughs> Twenty dollar, like, god damn! So, oh, damn, and this is the hit. night that it, this shit wanna <laughs> come at two thirty. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I keep going out. She was like, "Oh, you busy man? You a popular man? Like everybody calling?" I'm like, "No, nah, I just got a trip. I'm just right. calling you. Let me get busy, you know." <laughs> I'm super. You know what I'm saying? So I go outside. Your account is still at negative twenty. I'm like, "Damn, this bit better hit. If this bit don't hit, we gonna have to rent out this bitch." Right. Got so it, two like it was like two o'clock in the morning oh, came. She tied me. Oh, oh man. I, 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 I gotta go to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom like your your checking uh your available checking about this one thousand. I'm not fucking hung on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just came out there like. Oh, you need to hear the first fucking number, man. What a bill, man. I still do that shit. You want something to go? You want something to go? No, she got no, to go yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. big balling now. <laughs> so when she said hey, one thousand, boop. I was like, no, dude, that was that butt phone. Hey, too. Right. Hey, boop. I don't need to hear nothing all else. All you need to hear is that first yeah, time. Yeah, one thousand, boop. <laughs> so, so oh, Your available balance <laughs> is one, one thousand. Don't even pay this. I know. Yeah, no more pay. You want to pay? Let's go. You want to pay? Y'all taking too long. Get me up out of here. You want to go pay, play, but. So I had to hold it. That was like, and then when I dropped off, like that was the brokest shit I ever done in my wow. life. I didn't even have twenty three dollars to pay for that two all star damn meal. I didn't have twenty three dollars. All star breakfast. Yeah. Did you ever get to see her again after that? I mean, I still smash her. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew how to work the system, right. back, but I wasn't like I never got to that point. Really, what I was saying, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. but yeah, because she don't know what's going on. <laughs> she, uh, she listening right now. Yeah, she probably. I'm sorry. Oh shit, is I'm she? Sorry, babe. I'm nah, sorry. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause she would never know what I was doing. She would have been like, "Oh, I can't believe this." Right. That's why the motherfucker kept going nervous. outside. Right. But, but yeah. why do people think we're so rich when we're in the military? Well, I don't know why they think I, that. I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know, know that either. Because I tell always you think what, got money. Like, but, but really, we can have money, but they give us so much finance. Shit, mm-hmm. financial um, that you can through finance, in. right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. it really fucking our money, up. right? Because yeah. I can because get a, I can get anything I want right. off a car lot, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I gotta pay for that bitch. bitch you know what I'm saying? Right. So that, that, and I think that's now they want to teach us that, right? Yeah. So like when you come, like you come in the army now, you got all these classes. We ain't had these classes coming up. You know what I'm saying? That's why we've been damn near broke our whole career. Right. Everybody think us old. 
E seven, E eights. Like, why y'all still broke? Nigga, we ain't no like nobody <laughs> taught us anything yeah. about money. We would just know we can just get any car off the lot, we can get any house we want. Yeah. The but rims. the end of, Yeah. It rents, especially the rims. The rims, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I used to spray paint mine, mm -hmm. just let you know. Yeah. So that might be another broken. <laughs> I used to get to spray paint. The rim or the hubcap? The hubcap. Not, the real shiny. not the hubcap. <laughs> I was spray painting the hubcap. No. And they be shiny, shiny. And then I hit a curb or a bump or something. Oh, I'll go back and just spray paint them bad boys again. <laughs> so. Got the little ball in the front. Right. Out that girl life. out there doing it again. You don't never let a girl out there spraying them damn hot caps again. Mm. In front of the barracks. And then I was in a training unit. So, you know, yeah. all the privates watching you spray paint my hood caps. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we spend money because we know the money's coming right back. Right. Right, right. Definitely. First in the 15, that bit coming. It's prompt guaranteed. It's guaranteed. I think that's the biggest thing. That is, that. That's, that's really what it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to buy that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got two you more days to yeah, survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That star card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah star card. Yeah. Star card. But I tell you what, though. That mm -hmm. star card, man, like that shit open. Like I already knew like I already knew this shit coming in. Like, yeah. But, but I'm like, damn. Fuck, man. I got it. I'm using a, a, lot, a, lot, a <laughs> lot of fucking money on the star card. Right. Yeah. I was like, you know. Yo, my wife probably watched this shit right now. She's like, mm. yeah, be lying. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That's I, not car like, that's yeah, that's not I, car. I'm telling you what, like, I'm paying back all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. that shit will put you in debt. That's forever. And so, they will come back and get your income taxes whenever you mm -hmm. become a civilian. Yep. So I forgot I paid off my star card. I had it on a hundred dollar allotment. Right. Ever mm -hmm. since I was fucking E4, this okay. back in my first five years there. Right. I get checks. In the mail from Star Card, he paid eight hundred dollars. Nigga, you keep paying us, right? And, we'll, yeah, and yeah, I never but, stopped it. I'm like, no, that's my that's little. A, that's my little bonus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Star yeah. Card, yeah. Oh, here you go. We got an eight hundred dollar check. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. That's how you say it too. Appreciate you. Don't say it right at all. Yeah. But we know what you said. Right. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Cause they keep telling once you to stop the lot, man. Like, nah, that's nah. my little fake ass savings account. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like my little surprise <laughs> every six months, $800. What's oh. that other little money allotment you get? It's like TS or TSP? TSP, yeah. yeah. But you got to pay that back. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pay that shit back. I am, I, I, I went into uh, Roth. Yeah. Yeah, I switched that shit over to Roth, bro. But, I'm trying to build a retirement plan. There you go. The star car helped me out, though, especially we got to buy new uniforms. You know, I went through oh, a million. Yeah. 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 I went through all the uniform Uniforms, changes. Right. So you think I'm gonna come out my pocket? Yeah, hell no. Nah, star yeah. car, baby. That's how we did it. Yeah, we, we used to star car. Blues, right? hmm? When the blues really expensive. Yeah, like all. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now, we, now we got the fucking um, the fucking browns. Oh, yeah, wow. it's, it's crazy. Seven hundred dollar type. No, no, seven hundred dollar. Yeah. It's, it's like five. It's five. There. It's, it's right. a strong Those five though. Right. Yeah. Very. Yeah. You think I ain't fit a star car that up? <laughs> yeah. But once we knew that Burger King took the star car, oh hell. Man, my I niggas was throwing like the alley oop with the star car. I said, how much it is? They throw the alley oop. They gotta catch that bitch. Hey. <laughs> hey, I, no, Double look, whopper. I, I ain't know the star that card. The Burger King took star card. And the guy. And the guy. Two weeks. Two weeks ago, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I was going to, like because I was taking the guy that mm -hmm. just came in, Brooks. Brooks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was taking him in, man. I was like, man, you know, hey, you want something to eat? I was because mm -hmm. I was gonna pay for it, man. He was like, yeah, when well, you know, sure. Mm -hmm. Why, why not? I knew Nick was hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. You know I'm how we got, we got, we got, we but, you know, so I pulled the drive through. She's like, hey, welcome to Burger King, mm -hmm. home of the uh, Star Card, uh, uh, I mean, home of the, uh, the, home of the Whopper, Whopper, something, like whatever, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. And she was like, uh, well, you can use your Star Card and get 10% off. I was like, bitch. Hey, throw me my Star Card. <laughs> and homeboy, I love you, baby. <laughs> Star card? I and done, save it 10%. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. dunked that bitch yeah. like LeBron. <laughs> Let me get a number five. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to yeah. get the sandwich, but. Uh, the, the gas? At the gas? You can save gas money on that? All that shit? You go to the gas pump? Dope. 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 I, I was using it as my gas card for the longest. Right. Yeah. Until I had to buy a fucking military clown. I don't know. Let me start paying this bitch back. But, uh, yeah, that shit got me through some rough times as a problem. I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to do, man. I mean, like, as soon as I start paying, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, maybe, like, five more hundred dollars down, mm -hmm. I'm going to start fucking using that shit for gas, man. Save Just use it for gas. Money, Put it on allotment uh -huh. and use it for gas. Yeah, yeah my son's it's it's always gonna get paid. I already got him a gas card. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's fucked up. We got to have a gas. gas card. But, yeah. The way the world's going. <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. man. I know. Definitely. But that, that, that's my broken. Well, that's one of my broken stores. That's many. 
I think we may have a lot of broke stories, I guess. I just had to think about oh, it. I can you know what I mean? I can tell you some recent ones. <laughs> Sometimes you just had them days. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I ain't like you. I ain't been broken so long. No, so long. I didn't. You know? But I didn't mean like that. Like, nah, I've it. been like barely, like almost broke. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? I but I haven't yeah. had like mm-hmm. the broke moments where we had to like eat ramen or nothing. Like, I've been. I want to talk But I do so, like ramen, what? though. Definitely do like ramen. So. I remember when I was, when I was young. I was so broke I had to park my car on the hill so the gas needle would go up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I got a, I, I got a lot of fucking And it was you had to story, jump bro. in and push that? Nah, it's just, the thing is, it's the same amount of gas in there. I know, but it's, it's like, just on the hill, so it makes it look like it's got more, it makes me mentally feel good to go to sleep at night. Man, look, dude, I had fucking, like, I, I mean, I got a lot of fucking broke stories, real. nigga. Like, uh-huh. my fucking, like, one of my fucking worst broke stories was, you know, like I said, like, I, you know, I don't get emotional about shit no more because it is what it is. I, mm-hmm. But, um, you know, like, my mother, she didn't fucking finish education uh-huh. because she, you know, got pregnant with us. So that that shit happened. But right. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we was living in this trailer park, right? Uh-huh. And, you know, we had a grill. Lights got cut out for fucking months. What he said? That's what he said? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I just... No, go ahead. One bad. Aim me the oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go to but um, yeah, man. You know, we we, we you know we had a grill uh-huh. on the back porch. Man, lights was cut out for uh-huh. fucking months at a time. Had had to eat. And right. We had kids mm-hmm. in the crib. You know, so brother, my brother, fucking threw some fucking pine straw on the fucking grill, put, wrapped that shit up with some aluminum foil, cooked fucking breakfast. Hey, shit was busting. <laughs> was busting though, you know. That hey, shit was had a piney hey, taste, taste to it. Had a yeah, had a Christmas taste. <laughs> I thought he was about to say he caught a squirrel or caught something. Caught a squirrel? Well, nah. So but he did get fucked up by a snake, though. Like he, you know, he almost got fucked up by a snake, man. Did, he, yeah, yeah, we like, would have definitely ate that bitch. But yeah, mm-hmm. but man, yeah, hey, look, yeah. hey, dudes, got to keep it do- going, man. Mm-hmm. You got to keep it going. I know, man. You know, so you know, it is what it is. Like I, I feel said, like I think, you need a hug. Oh, no, nah, man. Nah. That's it. That, that's okay, that's shit. Make, come on here, yeah, man. Yeah, like, that, that shit know? make me. That shit make me stronger. Man. It definitely like, does. I, I'm, I'm like, cause I don't ever want to look at anything that's in my fucking rearview mirror, man. Right. Like I'm like, you know, that shit's Moving in the forward. fucking past. Yeah. Right. It is what it is. I survived it. Mm-hmm. Now this is what I got to fucking do to get to where I need to go. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm great. Mm-hmm. I'm great. That's, that's what matters the most. Okay. Do you have another topic before we move on? Yeah. Let's go back to featuring them. <laughs> nah, but the, the no, next yes. topic, it kind of, Sierra and Russell, okay. it kind of involves right. them, right? Okay. All right. So, do you judge, like, a female or male off who they dating? Like, you might have thought somebody was cool, you might have thought a girl was bad, until you see who they dating. You'd be like, oh, this, that bitch lame as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she date that nigga, that's corny. I mean, I, I don't, don't want to be biased, because I know that it is, like, Fucking guys out there that do that shit too, uh-huh. but I feel like it's only women. That do that. I don't that think what? I so much care about who you dated because I feel like I'm a step up. Yeah. Like I'm better than that yeah, person. I like right. I okay. know I, I might be the best that you get from. But even day. before you even, because you talking about after y'all dated. Well, you really don't know somebody who, unless it's your circle, right? You really don't know who that person I, is. I, got you. I, I, I just feel like, like, like I, I see people every right. day. Like I see some females. I don't know that is bad as hell, and then this old goofball come out, <laughs> and then he hopping in, she hopping in the car with him. This nigga, I'm like, oh wait a minute, like what the yeah, fuck yeah. is this nigga? How you doing that? Who is this her best friend? You know we be kicking it with the homies oh. for a long time. Oh man, I know, I know. we do kick it with the homies though. Yeah, but I, I don't understand this. But fucking point like, Dexter, she fucking though? with this dude. Now well, I got Dexter this. You know, might be really good. But, but, point Dexter might be paying them bills and look, yeah. doing hey, everything hey, right. Hey. Can't can't argue. I can't, I can't, you know what can't, I can't argue. I can't argue. I ain't even argue. Yeah. I think my niggas will try to pull her till she say that. Well, he paying my bills. Can you do that? Oh no. Nah, like, <laughs> nah, right, All right, Dexter. Right. We'll holler at you, man. You're right. And he you're might right. Be a great lake. Hey, congrats, congrats, you know I mean? nigga. But you know what? Maybe maybe maybe, maybe not a goofball. But just that. some dude is like. Like you would never think. Yeah, that like you could do time. better. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. could do better. Maybe not a goofball, but like you could do better. Some women feel like they might can't. Better, but this might be all because they might have saw who their mother was with, mm. and you know it kind of you kind of learn from what you see. You know what I mean? My okay. mom was with this type of dude, so this type of dude might be good for me. You know what I mean? Or 
my okay. grandmother dated a cornball, my mom dated a cornball, and so I guess I'm supposed yeah, to a date Russell, a, a Russell. Yeah. Russell. I would date a Russell. I'll fuck, I'll fuck with you. I, <laughs> I just want to say that. I would date a Russell. Okay. I mean, I mean. It, you I, say you would I, or you would? I would. Oh, okay. Damn. But I mean, like, <laughs> that's, I mean, me personally, like, like that, that's kind of how I am with my wife. Like, I'm, I'm like, dude, look, dude, like, you remind me of my fucking grandma. I, I tell that right. shit, like, at least every other fucking day. Mm-hmm. Because, like, she's all, like. Man, like, like when we go out and fucking shop, dude, mm-hmm. we we don't fucking look at prices. We're just mm-hmm. like, hey, right. this is what she you wants, want, or like, this is what I want, and I'm gonna fucking get it. She, you know, she'll tell you that shit right mm-hmm. now. But I'm just like, you know, you remind me so much of my fucking grandma, cause like my grandma, you know, you, y'all have heard the fucking uh, phrase like, put your money in a sock for a rainy day, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. My Definitely. grandma always did that shit. I man, like my grandma can go out and buy buy like. Any car she mm-hmm. fucking wants, right? Right. She like I'm like, like I I even ask her. I'm like, how do you fucking do this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like it's, you know, she, she just say I'm like yes, she should, definitely and say. she tries to teach me that. Well, she taught me that because like I do that shit like right now. Like uh-huh. mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, of course I do my spending. I of mean, I'm a, I'm a guy. Like I, that's uh-huh. just what the fuck I'm gonna do. Yeah. But um, you know, my wife reminds me so much of my grandmother that like I'm I'm like yo, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it because. I know that with her, I'm never going to fucking go into debt. I'm never going to go into debt. And I think that, you know, a lot of, a lot of men, men are going to hate me for this shit, but I'm, 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 it's, I'm just being honest. Like, I think that's the problem with a lot of men. Like, you know, they just don't want to, um, you know, live up to that expectation or, you know, do what they need to do to, Mm -hmm. to, you know, or, or say like they, they feel like they have, this entitlement to splurge, uh-huh. I guess. You they know, in, in, in a sense. Like, so like they I, can say yeah. I, later. I, I think because that's... I look like that too, though. Uh, like, uh, you know, because, like, and, and my wife is, like, actually who got me out of that shit, like, uh-huh. uh, like out of that mind state. Because, like I, like, I would be, like, a, you know, spend now, save later right, type of person. Right. But, mm-hmm. you like, once, all type once I joined the fucking military, like mm-hmm. once I joined the military, <clears> I was like, listen... Yeah. Some got some got changed. I was like, man, look, dude, I'm I'm down. Like me and my wife would be talking. I'll be like, hey, look, but, but I'm I'm fucking, you know, I'm down to this. She'd be like, hey, I told you. No matter if it's two weeks, a month down the road, she'd be like, hey, told you, you gotta do this. So I think that's $10. I think that's what um you know makes me paycheck, save something. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I love it, man. I love but it. But when you talk about the Spurgeon part, <clears throat> that's our people doing that shit, man. I'm gonna tell you what. It's our people. It's yeah. black people. Yeah. It's our culture. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm gonna tell you why. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. I wake up, man. I be like, man, I wish I was white. Yeah. Because I could put on any goddamn thing I want and go to Target, anything, and nobody's gonna say anything. I can have right. flip flops, right. right. some right. tore off fucking jeans, a fucking tie dye shirt. Nobody will fuck. I'm white. Boom, boom. But us black people, like, do you know like how long it takes for me to get dressed to go to an event? Because when I walk yeah. in that bitch, I don't want yeah. even even in the army on org day. Oh, these little young niggas ain't for the kill me. Find these J's. I got to put on a whole outfit <laughs> to go to a function at work. Right. Because I don't want the damn young privates to fucking young black motherfuckers to kill me. You know, they were old. That's ass. why I'm still single because I don't give a fuck. Like Yeah. Yeah. Well I mean but, you know, but you Yeah. Well, you say because you do well, Yeah, you, I'm I'm going in some tight. Yeah, sneakers. I think women can slide with that. Oh, I'm, I'm just talking about. Like, I, I think y'all can I slide with that. I'm Sunday just talking about. I, I got you. I got, I got you. But I just think as a culture. Yes, I get what you're saying. Like exactly. black women, we gotta. Yes, they we do compete. all this. We compete. Compete. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and it's crazy. Like so, I just like, man, I really want to go to Walmart, and I really <laughs> wish I was white. Cause but now I gotta Walmart get low. I gotta get low though. key, fresh to death. No, 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 I'm talking about just the. I just want to go there oh, with anything okay. on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. What you yeah, mean. I can't you don't do that. Run into somebody, yeah, right? My nigga, you the nigga with the podcast show. Hey, this nigga, <laughs> dirty. I didn't even even dress. Look at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time yeah, for that shit. I get it. I get it. And then I see my homeboy. That's why yeah. he just wear anything. Yeah. So when it comes to that Spurgeon shit, it's like. It might be in our blood too, man. We can go back yeah. to Africa yeah. and all that boom boom. Yes. I ain't gonna lie, I got my little bottom grill, I got my gold chain. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. wear them like that. I might be in the house drunk, right? Walking around, <laughs> rapping Jeezy or something. He needs right. more friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he needs more friends. I don't got nobody to talk to, so <laughs> right. I just be in the house like, 
<laughs> hey, motherfucker, I'm in this bed with the chain swinging right. in this you know what I'm saying? But in the morning, I'm back to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I had to reminisce back right. to 0506. Yeah. But I don't mind looking flashy. Like, I don't, I, don't, right. I don't mind us looking flashy, but I hate when it comes to, like, a competition. It does. Right. Like, why do we buy those J's, man? Yeah. It's like... Why it's, do we fucking have what? these big-ass chains? Yeah. It's got to be the shiniest. It's got to yeah. fucking be mm. the fucking top tier. Right. Of whatever yeah. brand, I mean, a white T-shirt can cost five dollars, but, but we, not that one. we ain't getting that one. We ain't no. getting the one that costs forty dollars. You know, that polo one, right. <laughs> just because it costs more. Yikes. Right. I mean, you know, I, you know, and I'm not gonna go on a rant about this, but I will say, like, you know, coming up, man, like something that opened my eyes a lot fucking more is that, you know, I used to think about that. Like, I don't want to say my grandma's racist, but she right. would always be like, hey. White person, racist. A white, you know, black, <laughs> my but, grandma was too. But you know, you know, back then when I was growing up, though, like they would be like, "Hey, you know, only white people can get these kind of cars." No, mm-hmm. motherfucker, if you bust your ass yes. and mm-hmm. goddamn get your, you know, get your fucking chip straight, you could be able to purchase a car like that too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, get your education up. Right. You can, you know, you can have what they have too. We, it's 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 know. a reason why mm-hmm. those who are like really into that shit like call us, you know, the N word. So, mm-hmm. uh, but I mean, you, you, you know, it, it, it's because like certain ones actually fucking act like that. Right. I, I don't let it bother me because I'm going to school. I'm going mm-hmm. back to school. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm getting ready to go back to school. I'm going to fucking get my education. Mm-hmm. I'm making money. I'm making right. all the right decisions. Mm-hmm. So like when people, you know, even like if I go back to one part of town, like, you know, it's certain ones that would be like, man, look, you act like he don't know. What tastes good no more? Like or where you, you know, where you came from? Mm-hmm. And look, motherfucker. Like I'm doing what's in my best interest. Yeah. I don't. You're not living my life. I'm living it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so I, <clears throat> I, I think, I think, you know, growing up with my grandmother around was like that. That that shit's tough, dude. Like I, yeah. I love that shit because that opened my eyes to a lot of political shit as well. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Uh, so I'm scared of white women to this day because of my grandma. Like my wife's Should white. I be saying that? Huh? huh? What you say? What? Nick, nigga, don't sleep at it. No. What? She's trying to talk when I was talking to Sly something in. What you say? My grandparents were Republican. What? Oh, yeah, you're my... I don't know if you want to say that out loud. Yeah. They're probably going to tell me what no, the no, show. No, 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 no. That's not me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't get deep in politics, man. It's like, it's, yeah, it, is really it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I don't, you can't control it. But to go back on that, just my son, he just got a job. He works with the woodpeckers, right? Right. He's a ball bat boy. So he told his dad, like, yo, I need a brand new pair of sneakers mm-hmm. for work. Mm. Dude hasn't even started working, but his dad and bought him, like, these $300 sneakers. But guess what? He can't wear it to work because he gets dirty and everything. Yeah. But he ain't telling his dad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, knows. you know, so like, now he got these. Okay. But that's what we do. We, we, we teach them at a young age mm-hmm. to have whatever you want, whatever right. you ask yeah. for. It's all if right. you want those $300 sneakers, guess what? One of your parents is gonna get them. If your mom ain't gonna get them, your daddy sure gonna get them. You know what I mean? I mowed plenty of lawns. But them three hundred dollars sneakers. This is the kicker though. The three hundred dollars sneakers ain't even comfortable. Right. Right. It's not. It's like it's not. It's not like the ninety-fives or whatever. It's the ones that got like the. I don't. I don't even know. But yo, dude is like. So excited. Like, let me, let me show you real quick. Let's yeah, but they, yeah, they're not the even comfortable. We're paying three hundred dollars for some uncomfortable shoes. Right, right, right. That's, That's why the white people wearing them fucking the barbecue eights. The no <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Man, I tell a person. Those ain't as bad as the Air Maxes. The uh, Air Max fucking uh, pros though. They like they got the the sole is made out of plastic. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Twisting man. your ankle. <laughs> like, why are we doing this? Man, I say this shit on the low all the time, man, at work, bro. Like, I, you know, I, I'll be hanging around my dudes, man. I'll be like, hey, look. If I see somebody, like, I'll be like, hey, look, bro. That's how you know that motherfucker got money, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you be like, ah, nigga. Like, I'll be like, hey, Hang that on. motherfucker got on it. Look, look, like a fucking $100 citizen watch. You know, it's, you know, cheap watch. You know, fucking khakis, mm-hmm. sh- shirt tucked in and shit. Damn, I I'm say like, yeah, hey. That, but I feel like he might watch. Because it, it, it's not so much that he's fucking got money, but mm-hmm. he's being smart with his mm-hmm. money. All right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it, it takes a lot to do that shit, man. Because, right. like, like I said, like, I feel like we, um, you know, as black people, feel like mm-hmm. we have, you know, in competition. Right. Yeah. We're in competition. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to stun on you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. 
problem. Yeah. That's my problem. It, it ain't no problem. That's with my problem. Like, it ain't a problem. Like, I just like, do it in small. Like he was trying to be humble with me. Like he was trying to be yeah. humble with me. He was like just parked by the blue car. I was like, all right. So when I was expecting a blue car, I was expecting like a Nissan. You, you, you called me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. just just like the blue car, and not the BMW or nothing. Just, yeah. <laughs> just try to be just, a little. Just, just you see it when you see it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. But but just a little bit. I got. Cause I want to feel good. That I work hard right. for this. You know yeah, what I'm right, saying? Right, like, yeah, yeah, right. Now, I'm about to stone y'all a little right. bit. I think I pulled up to the show. I had a little. You know, have a little shit beat a little bit. They're like, damn, what you got back in the trunk? I said, I got, I got, I got some little tins back there, little tins. <laughs> Rolled off. <laughs> but, you know, just a little bit. I just say people that do it all the time and, like, overly mm-hmm. yeah, do it. Yeah, excessively. And, yeah, you know, and excessively I would have felt lame telling you, like, yeah, pull up this to the BMW. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt lame even telling you that. Right, I'm like, right. no, nah, just pull it to the blue car, oh, man. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to be like let me, I'm. Let me just tell you. So, like, two, maybe three weekends ago, mm-hmm. I went on a date with this dude, right? Mm hmm. And so he, I guess he was trying to be humble. And so he was like, you know, park your car and you ride with me. And I'm like, "Mm, all right, yeah. So he has a Jag, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Right, yeah. really nice. He has a really nice outfit on. You yeah. know, he has like the blue, no, the pink oh, and black J's yeah, with the pink to, Nike. You know, he so he looks very handsome. Yeah. So we like ran around. Let's town. pause that real quick. Right. A Jaguar? I haven't seen a. Uh, I, I ain't no Jaguar. Right. I'm still popping. Yeah, man. Like, like, hold up. Yeah, my wife tried to give me to get an XR, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know cash man. money. The no. fucking Br- the, the British cars, man, but the fucking maintenance on them shits are fucking bad. Just that's any form. I hope you ain't watching this. So then, like a week later, he was like, "Yo." Come over to my spot, and I'm like, say less. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> but when I pull up, it's dark, and it's you know I pull up or whatever, and I'm like, mm, I don't see his car. Like, where's his phone? <laughs> you oh. ran in that bitch. <laughs> First of all, no. she, she says say less because of the car. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Pull up, say less. That's you got the Jaguar. Right. I'm coming. You know you pay for dinner, yeah, drinks, yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, when I pull up, I'm like, I don't know what's on your house. Gonna, you know, I'm, in my head, I'm like, I don't Can see his car, you know. Car, yeah. right. So he's like, yeah, it's the, the house on your left. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like a broke down Nissan, a broke down Mustang, uh-huh. like a truck. Uh-huh. And he's like, yo, just pull in by the truck. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, okay. And I get out and I walk in and he's like, shh. And I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm at his mama house. So oh, no. <laughs> we go in the room. And it's Hell like, nah. it's like the storage room. Like they got like pine. Lord Jesus, please don't let me be watching like stocks of nah, tissue yeah. and yeah. pine saw yeah, nah, and nah, nah. everything. He's like, the cleaning closet? Yeah, he's like, uh, you can sit on the bed. And he's like, Yo, you want it's to a bed drink? next to the pine saw? Yeah, he's like, you got to go to the And I'm like, this nigga <laughs> living with grandma. <laughs> <laughs> he with his grandma. 45 and still living with grandma. So where's the jig? Yeah, I was about to ask you. Did you ask him about the jig? No. Oh no, right. Oh, yeah. nah, that, that, so we end up watching like some show, and I was like, Yeah, you know, it's kind of late. I need to get back to the kids. So, oh. I'll let you, you so, hit, hey, right so he texted me. Right like, right oh, my bad. I didn't mean to knock over the comment. So, like, he called me. He's like, He texted me, like, Nigga, this is Ajax. Like, I did. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the like, cleaning supplies was, he had in that But it was that old pine so oh, the one with, like, the, with the black woman, woman like, yeah, no. yeah, you clean the floor, baby. You got to clean it with this one. Hey, well, no, listen, the one with the clean, pine cones or... on it. The oh, real strong oh, one that one that the that's military grade. <laughs> now, that's a lot of pine saw, baby. That's what y'all Yankees used to order for us. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking crazy. And so, like, three days later, he texted me. He was like, you must don't like me no more. And I was like, nah, we out of town on spring break. Oh, yeah, you got to make up something. <laughs> hey, so so when did you actually cut his ass off, though? Like, when did you we actually cut him break. off? We, we, we still on spring break. We no. spring break oh, to this day, you yeah. still on spring break. Yeah, yeah, spring break, break yeah, I, I know my kids ain't been to school in a while, but spring, spring break is six months long. <laughs> so he's probably watching this like, hey, uh, that, 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 that's, yeah. probably, that's, that's why he didn't come back. Hey, somebody going to tell him when he go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, I, I heard through the grapevine. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I I got a home girl that went through the same thing. I might be fucking with the same nigga. Might have been. Like, this nigga be, he picked me up in this car. Right. Pulled but when up. I go to the house, I don't see the car at all. I was like, maybe it's on she, the, in the backyard or something. Yeah. You, maybe it was. I don't know where. You it was yeah, but the my thing is, is if you if you fucking driving a Jag. Bro, like, are you no, broke? It, it, you're, like, you're no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking park that shit in the backyard. I'm <laughs> fucking letting everybody know like how hard I'll bust my like, ass. Like steal it, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I park it out here in front of the like. But he ain't steal even, it. Cause the first thing we had to drop something off at his parents' house, so his parents are pretty well off. Like the mom got like. Oh, oh, 
Uh, uh, How old is this dude? 45, so the mom has... Yeah, what's the other yeah, car with the little... Yeah, sad, I'm sorry. My mom has... The Mercedes? Yeah, so, you know, his parents got Mercedes and they struck, mm -hmm. so his parents... They were on vacation, so we had to drop something off before he brought me back to my car. And I'm like, mm -hmm. so he ain't even staying with his parents, so he gotta be grandma. Because grandma ain't doing nothing but storing stuff in the in the room. She getting ready for COVID with mm -hmm. tissue and pine and, and toilet paper. But, you know... Toilet fucking... Yeah. Sure, that's crazy. I should have just took a whole roll of... And the power of pound you took what? I should have took the roller TP. You should have took it out there. Hey, look. Hey, you should. Don't call me. Hey, shit. All right, all right. What he got in there, though? I need to clean his house. Man, you, you right there in the right spot. Right. You got your purse on you? Well, right. just grab the Ajax. Yeah, just grab it. Just grab the Ajax. Oh, it's got my backpack. I should have just put this in my backpack. And why do we season the tub with fucking Ajax and Tommy? Why do we you do that? Like, and I let don't it know, sit? But I saw that. that. I'm like, but I still do that to the this helps. day. It helps. I, I just what? sprinkle it in there and, like, leave. Like yeah. shower and everything. Yeah. And I'll clean up my room and then, and I'll then go to then go to Target. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I like Target. <laughs> come back. I guess the tub is done. The tub is done marinating. <laughs> now you can and and then, clean look, it. Hold up. Work. But you don't leave it in there too long because if you leave it in there too long, I'm not cleaning that shit because now I got hard stuff. Oh, yeah. Now I got to really put that elbow grease in there. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. fall yeah. off. Yeah. That's yeah. True. yeah. Don't want to do that. So I just get my daughter Fuck like yo, dislocate it. your elbow. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this: you you roll up with a nigga with a jag, I'll stay away from it. I am now. Jaguars, it's the damn yes. shit on the. Yes. We, we don't really rock those no more. Okay. I know back in the Cash Money days with juveniles yeah. popping, but it was really nice. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't yeah. seen it. Was it an XR? I don't know what it was, but like the seats and stuff. No, I'm like, you wouldn't like, take your shoes was, off. Like recently. Yeah. Yeah, like recently, like it's probably it like, like an XR because I like. But was like it his one. though, or was it his homeboys? He probably was like. Or was it his mom? He was probably like, "Hey, nigga, like, let me get this." Uh, it might have been his mom. Let, let, let me. Get I think it was his mom's because that's right. something like his mom's. Or mom. his dad. Hey, mom. You know what I mean? You mind if I bought a jag tonight? Because they were on vacation. I'm gonna look up Jack. Probably like, was. Like, yeah. If they was on vacation, a hundred percent probably. You doing a home alone, McCullough <laughs> talking shit? Oh man! Can't do that. You can't do that shit. Ah, they gonna take their cars? Oh, I'm here she, by myself. She you leaving? Know, drive the car. <laughs> Ferris Bueller day off? Shit. Yeah, man. What are we doing? Most you know that. Ferris Bueller. I didn't think about it. Now that I'm putting two and oh, two together. Oh, Ferris yeah. Bueller day off. Yeah. 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 yeah to rewind yeah. the yeah, yeah, rewind probably the miles on the hit you with the old switcheroo. Right. That was such a fucking um. <laughs> you mean they try to rewind the? Yes. They try to put the and car in reverse? reverse. Yeah, shit don't. Yeah. I, I tried that. That shit didn't did work. You? Yeah, I, I just yeah. want to see did it work. That shit was a. Now why y'all put that in the movie so I can believe it? <laughs> At ten years old, why y'all did that shit? Oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Kids are more bold now. Like they steal their parents' cars and stuff. I wasn't thinking about stealing my parents' cars like that. Oh no, I stole my mama's car. Did you? Mm -hmm. I didn't even learn how to drive until I got in the military. So I was damn. Oh, you wanted them? Yes, I was one of those. Where my parents, yeah. like the only dance I ever went to was prom, because my parents were so strict. <laughs> Oh, I'm one of those. okay. Yeah. Yeah, look at all New York soldiers that come in. I got to teach them how to drive. Yeah. Well, oh, you don't no, know how to drive? You're 23. Yeah. Yo, fuck, yeah. son. We had a fucking, had a fucking subway, <laughs> son. We had a train, B. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck driving, son. Can you buy some tokens and shit. Yeah, you're buying tokens and tickets and shit, yeah. son. Go buy the bodega. I got to go down to the. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. My whole girlfriend cussed me out. <laughs> She's from Queens. Like, yeah. shut the fuck I, up. Every time I said, I'd be like, yo, you want to go to the bodega? He'd be like, man, we're not from here. Yeah, you need to the corner store. Cause it's, it's a fake ass bodega right across the street. We got there. a bodega too. We yeah. be sober. <laughs> it's an A Rab yeah. in there, everything. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. and he take the food stamps. Nah, where you from? <laughs> Painhurst. Oh, <laughs> nah, nigga, you ain't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. From Painhurst. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> they sell all that, uh, what is it? All the little smoke stuff. Yeah. Hookahs? The, the, nah, the, the, like, the, the little fake um, weed or whatever. Yeah, you know? Oh, a little yeah. fucking yeah, yeah, CBD, CBD yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. People be rubbing that shit on their they elbows and their knees and shit. Like, really? Yeah, it's supposed to help, with that, help out with their joints. So. Yeah, they, 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 I know. I know. Yeah, they say, they say it hurts. Niggas want to sneak weed <laughs> anywhere. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, what was the, oh, did you go to Korea? Nah, I ain't going to Korea. What was, I can't think of those little things we used to smoke. It wasn't weed, but it was like something, and they were like little cigars, little cigarettes that supposed that got us high, but it wasn't like real weed. Or it was all in your mind. Yes, it was oh, all in your mind. Up. Right, so sure. fucked up, you know. It was really that soju. The soju, though. <laughs> yes. I have had that soju, Yes, though. it was the soap. Yeah. yeah, that soju tastes like water. Now. <laughs> That's crazy. 
<laughs> what the water? They, you don't took four of them. Right. What's from the faucet? <laughs> no, nigga, that's soldier. You about to die. Right. right. Oh, shit. Yeah. So when you hear soldier, everything just come rushing. Yes, I got 45, oh, 45 because of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Decorated with Article 15. Mm. Damn. Art 15. Mm. <laughs> the stories oh, we can tell. Uh, I haven't been to Korea. Mm. You're but not missing on much. I wish I would have went though, but I know Germany had a ball. I had a ball in Germany too. Germany was, uh, Germany it was, was too favorite. much. It was my favorite. I think it's fav- uh, It's better for tourism. Like you know, I, I don't want to get there and be like, "Hey, this is where I'm at." You know, I want to be like, "Hey, I'm visiting." You know what I'm saying? No, like, cause, I think like every you get used to that needs shit. To go overseas. Their first duty station should be overseas. It should be a fucking yeah, yeah, call. a culture shock. Yes. Mm. Throw the ass away from their home. Throw the ass across the water. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Cause that, all you that, got—that's that's like, your family. Like the military is your family. That's mm-hmm. it. That's all yeah. you got. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got no money to be flying right. back. You ain't got no leave, no money. To home, right. <laughs> Louisiana, you ain't got ain't no, no money for that shit. Ain't got no airport, so we got to fly to Kenner. Fly to Kenner. The Wilderness. You gotta fly there. Um, Y'all gonna come get me? Please. Or you gotta take the Greyhound. Because yeah. you know when I first joined the military, the I didn't know nothing about planes. I was going back home on the Greyhound. All black people taking the buses <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. Get out of AIT. Or whatever, how much is the bus That's taking? Right. Where you going? Where California? God damn, <laughs> nigga. By the no, time you get there, your leave is done. No, really. You gotta come back. Definitely. <laughs> Ever had to take the Greyhound to go see a dude. Oh, no. Sweetport, Louisiana. Man. And guess what his name was? Hmm. I hope you ain't watching it. His name, his whole, his real name was Kunta Kente. Shut the fuck. McDaniel. Kunta Kente McDaniel. I was in love with some Kunta. <laughs> God. I thought I was going to marry him. Uh, oh, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is What's your name, boy? <laughs> Kunta. But he Kunta. never Kunta. used it. He always used Kente. So I thought, like, for the longest, his name oh. was Kente. And so I went home. And his daddy was like, what's up, Kunta? I was like, I know you fucking lie. I know you. I know you. <laughs> I, know you I would have walked back at the house. Now. Let's start this over, Lord. I'm going to replay this. I'm going to go back to the car. I'm going to cut the car back off. I'm going to walk back in. <laughs> what you call him? Call me my husband. You know, you're the first person you fall in love with, basic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought That's that was going to be my husband. Yeah, I fell in love with with a Mississippi girl. She had a mullet. Not a mullet. Was <laughs> she black? Yes, yeah, she was black. Mississippi man had a mullet. I know you lied. I swear to God, <laughs> I put it, I put it, uh, I put it on everything. Everybody I knew too, man. You still, you still talk to that girl with the mullet? I think that was twenty years ago. I hate you because no, I know she had a she had a strong mullet. Damn. Shit was strong. That shit ain't fucking right. I thought I was some Mississippi shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, Texas, they still got the shag in the back. Yeah. 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 I was that like, oh. You tickled me because I know. <laughs> and that was some Mississippi thing. She was going on. Part of Mississippi. Damn, my Uh, Batesville. Oh, my God. Damn. Shit, we are crying. <laughs> She had dead. Everybody to this day, 20 years later. <laughs> you still talk to that girl with the uh, money. You, you was really in love with her. You brought her home and showed her to her Yeah, I took her home. My mama, my, my, my mama low key right. was like, don't bring that girl here no more, baby. <laughs> baby, you can do better than that. Baby. I, I see you do better. I was like, bro, I love her though. But me, I was like, it was real cool. It was the vibe. It was the vibe. Not the mullet. It was the vibe. Hey, hey the, <laughs> the fucking mullet. The mullet was the vibe. I didn't even recognize the mullet until everybody started clowning me after we got out of AIT. <laughs> they said like, "Why?" And AIT they was cool. Get out of AIT, you still fuck with that girl with the mullet. I said, "Where the fuck had a mullet?" Man, you know the fuck the girl. You could no actually. Did you never notice the mullet? You never. I, did, I, the mullet. I was just so in love. I didn't notice the mullet. Did you ever pull it? No, nah, it was just <laughs> it, 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 it was it wasn't like a mullet. It was just like her hair was like real gelled down. <laughs> and it like flipped up in the yeah. Back. It, 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 it flicked up in the back. And I just, I haven't noticed it until like years later. I had looked at some old pictures. I said, this bitch had a mullet. Damn, I used to wear the flip. I wonder if mine looked like the mullet. Yeah, it's fucking mullet, yeah. Mm. Now you going to have me looking at real pictures. Real strong helmet. A strong <laughs> helmet in the strong. front. And then flip in the back. Mullet. Damn, Damn. I used to wear the flip. I wonder if mine said look like a mullet. Oh, I bet you had a mullet, um, then. Um, You know what? Next time, I'm going to have a picture for you. All right. I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna find old no. girl with the mullet. <laughs> I'm like, this her right here. But my mama didn't like her the way she looked. You know what I'm saying? I was she like, was strong in the face. I, I thought she was. I don't know. But I was from Brunswick, Georgia, so anything was anything was looking better to me outside of that. That's my girl, though, man. That's and then she girl. was hollering at you, giving you the play that you want, telling you what you want, touching yeah. you the way you want it. 
Well, I think no, really, it was just she was short and dark skinned. She had about she uh, probably like five foot and dark skinned. And that uh, that's all I was like, Oh shit. I finally got one. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? And then she had a mullet. So, you know, I just, I just looked past the mullet and everything. But uh she was funny as fuck though. That's my favorite though. Let's still talk to her too. Yeah. We mean no harm if you're watching us. Or she if you will she ain't on this, this one though. I can't post this on the IG though. She like, nigga, you, you talking, talking about, about me? Nigga. <laughs> I'm from the sip. Oh, I crank a little up. Never stop screaming. We have come a back, come back. My uncle and aunt have a restaurant in Mississippi. <laughs> oh, man. It's called Lily's. It's called what? Lily's. Who got a restaurant called Lily's? My aunt and uncle. Where? Oh, in back Clinton, in Clinton, Mississippi. In Clinton, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And my grandparents live in Frankleton. That's where I graduated. I graduated. My parents got divorced, and then I graduated from Frankleton High School, and I never you know anything about Gulfport? Yeah, my brother lives in Gulfport, Mississippi. Yeah. yeah. Do they have what a white woman? Do they have paved roads in Mississippi yet? Don't do that. Every time I go, there's a dirt road. <laughs> okay. There is, because my mom. I know. I know. Thank God she married a man from Baton Rouge, and she has moved to the city. <laughs> Yes, so I appreciate it because every time I go there, there's no, I have no phone service. I know. So I gotta walk to the end of the road. You gotta and get. be like T Mobile. <laughs> Where you at? Mississippi, you gotta and get. And my mama got chickens. Mississippi is country. You get on. Yes. You, you be on the highway, get off of that. Yes. <laughs> To get on the dirt road. Yeah, get on the back road to get off of that. Mm -hmm. They get on the back roads. Mm -hmm. It's so dark. It's so, so dark. But you know them roads by heart. Like, I can just drive in because i just been driving for so long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you be hitting all type of shit. Deer, pigs, and all type of shit. Oh, don't hit the deer, yeah. You just gonna take that home with you. Oh. That's a prize. I, I that's a bonus. Nah, nah. I ain't taking a no raccoon. Bonus. Though. I ain't taking a no raccoon. <laughs> I'll take, yeah, you can take the see, raccoon no. and the rat. rat, rat not rats. <laughs> <laughs> this girl said the rats. We ain't in fucking New York, <laughs> B. <laughs> Fuck out of no here, son. We no rats, no son. No Fuck out of here. No, no, no six nine. No Takashi, son. <laughs> Fuck out. Takashi rule. No fucking no <laughs> snitches around here, B. Nah. Oh, I definitely ate raccoon growing up. But we it hit that damn deer, though. No, that deer is getting in, it's yeah. getting tied to the hood right, or right. top of the roof. Are we dragging it? Oh, yeah. Somebody in the pasture side is going to drag it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all have fun tonight, man? Definitely. We're going to shut this show down, man. Exactly. This was a, it's a good show. Thanks for everybody joining on, man. I definitely have to come back. Yeah, come back through here. Yes. You know, definitely. come back through here. This this is me casa su casa. Did I say that right? Yeah, mm, I think so. Okay, well, I hope I did. Me casa es tu casa. One of my Hispanic friends went to jump go. right in that group chat. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank y'all for coming on, man. I know it was last oh, minute man. for you, but we talked. But we was talking at the shop earlier right. today, and then he just hit me on like, "Yo, you doing that show tonight?" I was like, "Yeah, you trying to slide through?" He was like, "Hell yeah, yeah. Like, motherfucker!" Um, and thanks for you, Jennifer. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm just glad you went like. No, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, I thought she was about to flake on me. Because she was like, I'll be at she, all, all day. She's texting me. I, I, at 8, I be at yeah. P08. And then I text back like, like See, I might not make it at 8. Yeah, uh, we we just got to know. I was like, that she got real quiet for about 33 minutes. I, I had a shower and stuff. I said, damn. I was like, I'm going to send her. Can you know how you test it out? Hey, when you get here, just pull around back. Uh, yeah. And I was driving when he was texting me. And I was like, man, yeah. she. and I said that. like She might be driving over yeah. here. And then I see some cars pull up outside. And then you just call me. I was like, oh, shit, she didn't flake on me. Right. right. Pull around to the right. blue car. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come around to the blue, blue car. car. <laughs> this nigga got a whole a BMW, BMW back here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Parked a little Toyota I, I, I still, in front. <laughs> <laughs> I still would have felt lame. I'm like, yeah, that, that blue BMW. <laughs> the one with the <laughs> Got to whisper the fire. Five series. <laughs> got that file. on me. But, um, I think next week I got to do some, got to go out of town, but uh -huh. right after that, yeah. you'll be back on every Friday. Sounds good. Sounds so, good. what's up to y'all though, man? Yeah, you know? I'll definitely be yeah, back. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, just, yeah, I don't, I don't have no co-hosts, so. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I don't have no co-hosts, so, you know, it's, I I'm just kind of taking how I'm, how I'm getting them right now. Right. Um, but no, thank y'all for coming out, man. And, um, we're going to sit back and talk after the shit get shut down. A little bit. I'm going to finish off this bottle so I, to th I can throw it away. You know what I'm saying? It's actually good. We shouldn't promote it, but it was yeah. this summer is like really, really good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right, man. We can. What is what is this, summer citrus? Yeah. Summer citrus to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Like I was saying, man. Do you be you, stay you, man. We will catch y'all next time we on, man. Holla at y'all.